Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. And we're back! Yay! Yay! We made it! <laughs> We've been off for, well, off for three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, yes, a new intro, as you just saw. Been working on that because I promised I would do an intro. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got all like fuzziness, so it kind of replicates like an old TV kind of CRT thing. CRT kind of. CRT at the beginning with or some fuzz, some over, RF. Over VHS, uh, a VHS tape that's been over recorded. Over and, and over, over, and over, over and over and over and over. And then it yeah. cleans up as it goes to the end. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for subscribing, Dan. Yes. Welcome back. I dig the ZPH shirts. Yes. Yes. Imagine shirt. somebody called it immediately the D train. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, this is wrong. Let's fix that. Yeah, we're going to fix that. It's Darcy! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Do you want to check the camera and make sure it didn't crack? Uh, <laughs> crack, yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. It's been a year and a half, <laughs> approximately. Yeah. When was the last time you were on? Were you on no, in the I was, summer? I was Once on. Summer? Really? Yeah, I was Once. on. It's, I was on it. During the yeah since the lockdown, the, the big the oh, big okay. C nineteen start some amount of it, maybe but not much. A year, <laughs> a little bit. Who is this? <laughs> are there are there, are there new viewers that don't know Darcy that have been? Yeah, it's it quite could be. possible. Yeah, it's quite yep. possible. <laughs> uh, hello, back to Brazil. I know there's going to be a lot of Brazilians watching today because we have uh, uh, five games today. And the first one is Keijo Chases the Cheese, which is from a Brazilian uh, programmer. Nice. Uh, Leonardo Santiago. We're also going to be playing Mr. And that's an exclusive final binary. We have three exclusive 2600 games today. Are we so lucky? We wow. are. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is Mr. Yo-Yo, the -Yo, uh, final binary of that. That's another exclusive by David Marley. Dave M. We've got The Runes of Moria. That's a brand new game. That sounds exciting. That one's going to blow you away. Like, the look of it is, is crazy. <laughs> uh, we've also got uh, The Legend of Dungeon, which is an exclusive premiere as well by the Major Havoc. Two dungeon games. Yeah. People love dungeon, making dungeon games, video games. Yeah. Because uh, there's monsters in them. And, you, you know, you got to defeat solid, those monsters. It's just a solid uh, gaming uh, yeah. genre. Yeah. yeah. Solid premise. Mm -hmm. um, and Electro Ball by Mike Litau, and I believe that's his first released 2600 game. So we've got uh, oh, nine Brazilians versus 12 US Americans, because you can get stats of where people are if you look on the Twitch stats. Kind of funny. Um, and well, no, uh, he said nine bazillions. Bazillions. <laughs> There's bazillions. That, that's a there. lot of Brazilian. Nine bazillion that's Brazilians like is a lot. All of them. That's more than I thought that there were. <laughs> Um, obrigado. I guess that's hello. Because <laughs> I see that all the time when they come in. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers whose names are right beside the Darcy there. Yeah. Uh, 8 Swami, Alna Fur, Arcade Fever, 80s, Arms Guard, Coda, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Canadian Tenor, Catalogs, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Coconut 81, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Gradham's Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, One Year Out of Carl G, Kev Kelly, Melchitos, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mike Soul, Miss Command, Mr. Zardu with Mr. Fix, Nathan Strumpacker at VG, Kohog RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan, K, Togo, Toga Mario, Trek MD, and you can get your name on there too and support the show if you subscribe to Twitch. And it's free if you have Amazon Prime. And follow us on Twitch to be alerted to live broadcasts because that's important now. And we'll be talking about that later. And follow us on social media because we're on all of it. Or a lot of it. We're not on TikTok. <laughs> I don't think we will be. No. But uh, we're not on there. Um, we have a poll question right now. Oh, Darcy's resubscribing because yeah. he's not on there. James, yes. <laughs> there's no chat on the screen. Someone mentioned that earlier. So what I don't know is, if why something. is there no chat? Uh, oh, that's really weird. Uh, chat. Huh, 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 huh. Cause there is chat. Um, that is very strange. Cause there's chat. Oh, there's still chat on the pre-show. What is happening? Nobody knows. 
<laughs> like, no, that's, that's, what, that's what they asked you. Chat, sub, oh. Oh. Is that incorrect? Let me copy that. One second. Yeah, because I want to see what you guys are talking about. Is that working now? No. So, have we analyzed uh, to see which profile is best on us? <laughs> In terms because of what? We could really, if, if it happens that this is the best profile, oh. we could put all the computer stuff over here so that we're looking the right way. Because <laughs> we're always looking over here at your uh, your screen setup. Oh. It's a thing. Oh, the camera put it over there? Look over here for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> now this way. Okay, which is the best way? Oh, well, they'll have to decide. That's the call. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the Twitch chat. Okay. Um, it shows up in the other screen, so... Oh, it shows up in there, too. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. That's weird. Uh, I'm a little annoyed. There's a subscriber list. This is what he looks like when he's annoyed. Yeah. Look over here. James, look this way. <laughs> just over here this way. Okay, now look back. So I just wanted you to get both <laughs> profiles to see. Because sometimes he's, I mean, you know, he gets annoyed. Like, it happens up all the yeah. time. That's why we have a rage <laughs> so, reset. Uh, so in your decision of which way to look, like, it's important to see annoyance on this face. No idea why the Twitch cat chat is, or the Twitch cat's not on there either. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be. Um, you know what? Is it brought to the front? Is there some kind of... Look. I'm going to do something that may... It's, it's a Brazil nut. <laughs> destroy it. <laughs> right? Okay. I've kind is of it? got yeah, it yeah. there. It's a Brazil nut. Yeah. See, it's... I brought these on purpose. It's not accidental. <laughs> oh, no, it's still That good. was me lying. Okay, we kind of got the Twitch chat. Uh, I've got that working. Sorry, I should have just pretended like everything was This is fine. where I'm hiding all of the nuts. Yeah. No, you're sure really... wondering where they're coming from. It's this bowl. No, it's a good, it's good. No, I can't get the black block. Oh, there it is. Oh. Progress is being made on the technical issues. Yep. Um, in the meantime, look, it's plastic. <laughs> and then more plastic. Yeah, we've got a lot of... Um, this lot of is stuff. a pillow. <laughs> oh my god. This is a dinosaur eating a uh, pumpkin. And you know why. Don't pretend you don't know why. <laughs> you know why. And I've almost got it, and that is good enough. Okay, that's not We've perfect, but it's good enough. We've reached a level that we, <laughs> we refer to with. as good enough. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, back to your regular scheduled programming, which is the poll question, which I hope will come up on the screen as well. Uh, okay, so the poll question today, which did come up on the screen, thank God. Do you ever use walkthroughs? slash hints for games uh, only when i get stuck yeah because that option that is one of the options uh one of them is i never use hints mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. uh that's number one number two is i use hints very sparingly mm -hmm. uh number three is i have hints on hands to get through tough spots and number four is i will watch full walkthroughs without losing enjoyment of the game for me it's i will use a walkthrough or or a hint or what have you them when i stop having fun if i'm no longer having fun yeah. then i'll go to it but otherwise if i'm like so you're logged in or no can me? you vote you logged out um i, I probably have logged out i used hints probably very sparingly um you could vote Two for two. This one isn't that you should vote for two. This is like a or or or. I don't know if you want to come in here and sit on the floor. I don't know. Uh, I'll wait until you. Or we can put of... this on the floor. How about you? Or you could sit here and I can sit on the floor because my head's too high, anyways. There. Fine, there you go. The, the the bench does accommodate three people, or two people and a cat or two. But well, actually, if the camera was over there, it would work better because I'm the small. Like, I'm shorter, and the camera's further mm. from me. But anyway, uh, there's no room from the camera there. Or not much. Okay, so, um, on with the news before we uh, check out the poll results. Um, 
there is a new look to ZPH, uh, the layout. Not much in this screen, but you'll mm -hmm. see it when we switch over to play the games. Um, there's a new layout. It's Things aren't covering things. It's much more organized. It's nicer. Hopefully people like it. Um, I've also uh, did the intro, which is a nice addition. Kind of get you ready for the show, mm -hmm. put you in the mood. Uh, and I've also uh, updated, so the capture is one-to-one -one ratio from the Atari 2600. There's no resizing of anything. If it's a pixel on there, it goes to the Frame Meister and then goes to the capture equipment. Mm. No resizing of pixels whatsoever. Mm. I didn't know it was doing that before. Mm. Yeah, it might have been, okay. um, but I've made sure. Um, and also, there's this thing called After Dark, which we've been broadcasting during the break. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is divide up the show into two parts. Um, because I wanted to have a kind of separate stream for all the long games. Mm. Um, where it's like an RPG. And you might play it for two or three hours sometimes. Yeah. And so yeah. we will, if there's a new RPG that comes up, we'll, we'll look at it on the show, but we won't be like playing it for two or three hours. Yeah. We'll leave that for After Dark. Mm. Uh, and we'll just go boom, boom, boom through the games on the show so that people can just see the games. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Kind of it's like a play. testing of the games and seeing what yeah. they're like. Yeah. yeah. And, and then we have After Dark... On this, right after this show, usually, not always, maybe not, maybe there is. Uh, today there is. Uh, there is an After Dark. There's going to be a short break. We're going to have some lunch and mm -hmm. come back with After Dark after mm -hmm. that. And there's definitely an After Dark on Tuesdays mm -hmm. uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Um, so that might change up. We'll see how that goes. And so for people who like to watch long playthroughs, you have After Dark. And for people who want to see... A bunch of games and the rundown of those games and mm -hmm. that's what this shows this yeah, is the main show yeah. um so really you're not missing anything because all the things that were there before are still there so there you go there you go <laughs> <laughs> my legs. Now I'm on no 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 that's for after dark now, now i'm on wiki show. feet <laughs> wiki feet yeah after dark that can be confusing it's like does after dark mean when it's daylight or does that mean when it's, it's just, dark it's mm -hmm. it, it's a separate show. <laughs> well, because usually after dark, we're could playing mean it when it's dark. After it becomes dark, yeah, we're, we're missing some words because after dark <laughs> could mean the morning, like mm. when it's bright out. It's dark somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> but usually we'll be playing it at night because it's like we're we're both home. We've got some time in the yeah. evening, yeah. and it could be random yeah. as well. We could come on any time and go. We want to play more of this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's a long game that requires multiple sessions. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there may be the odd we're doing spontaneous a beta, game, right? We're doing a beta testing of a game right now, and we've been playing it for probably 20 hours Oh, now. yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> offline. Yeah. We do play offline sometimes. Yeah, um, yeah Lance Armstrong says, uh, good idea. I like it since I'm mostly here for the individual game rather than long plays. Yeah. And I knew that some because it does have a drop off. When well, we, and we put I just a, sorry. I know this is. I shouldn't be interrupting your stream, no, but good. I just noticed that Thrust, after a very long <laughs> consideration, has chosen four. So long, I don't even know what four is anymore. But <laughs> Thrust does. Yeah, uh, and he'll it's a well considered number four. Yeah. Mm, yeah. He'll watch. He'll watch uh, full walkthroughs, and it does not spoil mm. this because. Uh, I'm fine with that too because the game should be fun to play mm -hmm. but sometimes there's games where there's discoveries and it's like well the fun is in discovering it so it depends I, I depends on the game style too yeah and I tend oh, to only yeah. look at walkthroughs if I'm just so stuck I can't move forward yeah, yeah. Uh, oh there is yeah there is an Atari on the screen oh yay yeah. uh, so we're gonna oh, not oh. on that screen though no cat cam uh, okay. <laughs> we'll leave it. We'll leave it. I'm, I'm not going to interrupt something. him anymore. Yeah. Um, my computer crashed three days ago, and I had to reinstall Windows <laughs> and oh, reset no. up and reset oh, up this no. whole OBS streaming yeah. wow. from scratch. Wow. Yeah. And so have you backed up your config file now? Uh, not Is that a yes, thing you I can have. do? Oh, yes, okay. you can. Yeah. Um, so it was very old, my config file, and yeah. I just said, no, nah, I'll just do it from scratch. Yeah. That's why there is... That's why there's things... So many problems. Um, so yeah. you actually have no one but yourself to blame this time. How did they see Atari then? That's oh, no, he, he came. jumped up on he my... Oh, up. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. It was horrible. Um, horrible. <laughs> it, 
Yeah, I do have I, my... I, I've, I've never seen him look more depressed in my entire life when you are when you can get your computer booting oh, yeah, properly. Yeah. It was like... Because the debut oh. of this show is in three days, and like, oh and my And you, had, you had, mm-hmm. had, had recreated all these new just, OBS screens. I just recreated And then the them. whole thing <laughs> just went boom. Like, oh. I'm on a backup computer today, lost audio. Oh, oh it's so You know so my pain. Rough. It's so rough. So, uh, before we open the mail, we'll, th- we got this two days ago. Yes. These yeah. new shirts... Uh, with the zero page rainbow so and what's the inspiration for that font again that's it's a, a retro company with that starts with the letter i ah there we mm. go um so yeah it, it's a magic oh, somebody already posted it. yeah <laughs> um so there's the link inspired to inspired. the store um so here they are in the store um so we've got five t-shirts now this is the most uh this is the newest one here and uh yeah so tanya's got hers yes. i've got mine yes uh so it's I, a, I um in spirit i got the tattoo yep. it's under the, <laughs> yes. under the shirt he liked it so much. but i don't want to like i don't want to like change the stream from <laughs> video games into darcy's chest stream. that's true so we'll yeah. just and you just you... believe you'll just have to take my word for it so i got a gray one mm-hmm. that gray yeah, yeah speckled gray and you got a cream uh, I got the cream, not the white. I think there's there's like a oh, natural. Is it that one? I think it's that one. Yeah. yeah. It, it does. It looks pretty white, actually. But more white in person. But it's than a little cream. bit less. Um... Oh, actually, you got no, no. A I got style. I got the the. Uh, no, I think you have to pick at the top. Um, Female. No. Um, a scroll scroll to the top top. Oh, it's a different I... style. Oh, uh, it's not here. Is it? You anyway, have, it's it is a different it. style. It is not the easiest to find, but um, yeah. the tank tops are there too. But it was it was like a cream or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there you go. Uh, new shirt, if yeah. you like it. It's on the left-hand side. So the last screen you, sh- you oh, just showed, it? it says there. Oh, oh tank tops. Is Under t-shirts. There Under, you go. Tank tops. Tank top. There. Whoa. So there you go. Lots of them. There. We'll get it. We'll find it. There. Email. <laughs> oh, no. It was just the first one. White. Oh, maybe white. it was just white. Just plain yeah. white. Sorry, I thought it yep. was green. So it there white. you go. So lots of shirts. Yep. Yeah. Um, so let's open the mail. And we have a ton of it because it's been building up. So let's open uh, this one first. Oh, we're still in small, thank God. Uh, I didn't blank out that side. <laughs> <laughs> and it's white, so uh, that's good. There. So I already opened this because... You just needed to be sure. I wanted to be sure what it Sometimes was. Sometimes you want to make sure things aren't broken so this too, right? Is, oh, um, these are so cool. These are so cool. Tiny, mini, mini, mini. They're so cool. Arcade games. This is Dig Dug. They're super tiny. Uh, they are made by Micro Arcade. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're rechargeable. Tiny, tiny screens. Um, not impressed with Dig Dug. No. Um, do, do you want me to? Yeah. Do you want to flip it to the? Uh, from oh. One, three, turn one, it off. Um, <laughs> no, because I don't have that ready yet. I don't have the webcam. Thing oh, yet. it's not on. No, okay. I got the basics working. <laughs> it's gonna be blurry, Is but it? uh, it's, it's fine. People can bad. see it. You can't um, move and shoot, but be holding oh. down in a direction and pump. Because in the arcade, you can hold a direction and pump. This one, it stops you from moving when uh, you pump. So you have to move and pump, move and pump, move and pump. Anyway, it's still What's a fun the game. Bubble? Uh, yeah, that's bubbly at the top. It's in Maybe case you drop it in the water, then it floats. Uh, I also got Galaga <laughs> as well. Um, can you this, move and shoot? Uh, yeah. You, okay. Uh, I haven't Woo! played this too much, but you can move and shoot. <laughs> the the music on both is not the original music, yet mm. they licensed everything else. I guess you have to pay extra for music. Maybe. Yeah, Different they're, rights holders They're or very small. Yeah. So if you have to have good eyes and small hands... Uh, Tangerlian is uh, put in a, recommend, uh, or a request I'd like for some underwear, underwear so yeah. uh, zero-page underwear. I don't think they do underwear. <laughs> I don't think they do. Boxers, hoodies, shirts... They onesies. Have kids onesies. <laughs> <laughs> a large onesie. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how big they go. Uh, it, twenty-four months. Twenty-four that's all months. You can get. So if you fit in a twenty-four months, <laughs> two-year-old, you know what you could do is cut off the top of it. But the the things on the top of it. Uh, so oh yeah. 
Sorry. I don't know. I don't you have a solution. You can't get zero page across your ass or anything <laughs> I don't like have that. a solution. <laughs> and also, uh, this is why I really bought it. Um, this is the R2 Boy FX. And what there this is, is a small video game system, handheld. Hmm. And there's a community that makes games for it. Ah. And there's like hundreds of games there. And they're all simple, retro kind of games. And this one comes preloaded mm. with 200, and you can add more to it. And uh, also you can learn to code for it if you want to code. And it's a good environment to code because it's really, like, a simple. Do you want to pull it out of the box? Um, sure. It seems like coding would be really slow. You have to, like, up, up, up. <laughs> scroll. Press the button. <laughs> scroll down, down, down. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, they add an option for a PC because oh, the resolution of this... That would speed things up. I believe the resolution is pretty, slow, pretty low. It's 320 by 1... 60 or something not sure oh oh i think this is a slide out one loaded with legal games unlike yes. that super console <laughs> yes this is loaded with legal games because they're allowed to distribute nice so they have whatever rights they need to do that yeah i guess when you make a game and upload your game to their archive part of it is we're allowed to distribute it mm. yeah it is a slide out okay so, true 8-bit console. Excellent online forum. Easy to learn. Open source games. Open source games. Not even uh, just a distributable. And credit card sized. Over 200 pre-installed. Oh, that's tiny on the back. Adventure Action Arcade. So here it is. I wish I had the cat cam going. But I know, unfortunately. There we go. Some troubles. Ooh, nice packaging. Very nice packaging. I know how fancy it is by the package. Start to play! <laughs> And Look there it is. is. So it's a vertical <gasps> Game Boy so style. Wow, that is very small. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if it's. Uh, has... Does it have Chromecast uh, on it? No, so we're not able to broadcast <laughs> it. And it loads instantly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was. <gasps> oh wow, that was very oh. cool. I, I wouldn't even know, I know what I was seeing, it. but it, it, it you, can, you can hold it up, but. Oh, I... it's doing a tutorial. So I will turn it off, and you guys can. Um... Maybe when we have a cat cam, we can give a, yeah. a much more close-up <laughs> view of that because they're quite small, but they're so cool. They're really cool. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Look at this one next. This is from Audacity Games, Ooh. who I was a beta tester for uh, Circus Convoy. Let's see what they sent me. Cool things you're showing. Yes. Toys. What was the screen resolution of that? Do you know? I, 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 I think it's 160 by 120, but you'll have to look it up. It doesn't say oh, yeah. on the packaging. Uh, Ardubuoy.com. A-R-D-U-Boy.com. Yeah. So this is the belt buckle that you get with the VIP package. So they sent me a nice belt buckle. Nice. Of Circus Convoy VIP. Because I am apparently a VIP. Very nice. And they sent me a nice <laughs> letter <laughs> as well. That's, that's Dear awesome. James Earl O'Brien, we at Audacity Games want to take this opportunity to thank you for your support as a beta tester Very of nice. the Audacity Games flagship Atari Ooh. 2600 release. Circus Convoy would not be the same without your help nice. in making games what it is today. Making the game what it is today. Please accept this enclosed, engraved VIP belt buckle. It is engraved. Uh, to add to your personal video game memorabilia collection. <laughs> Did you see that it was I engraved do. on the back? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. I see. Oh, it does say Audacity Games Beta Tester, so this is different. Yeah. I didn't even see that. And neither That's can really you. That's really sweet. Yeah. Oh, you can see it. Well, you can see bit. it's engraved. Yeah. Very nice. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> it's on this part of it. Yeah. On the back. <laughs> Very nice. Um. This is in, a, in addition to the beta test version of the game, which is way up top white label, the Circus Convoy, uh, which is in your, you have in your possession, which is one of the only seven made and yours to keep. Yeah, oh, up they can't here see where that. you can't see. Thanks from us for all of your support. David Crane, Gary Kitchen, Dan Kitchen. That's very Thank cool. you. Mm -hmm. Guys. Imagination. <laughs> it was very nice. It was very fun beta testing that game. And we beta test a lot of games here on the show, off screen. Offline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and then you get to see them eventually. Um, okay, so let's open the t shirts. This is my t shirt, yeah, which actually has nothing to do, nothing to do with was in games. the package with these t shirts. <laughs> 
But uh, James wanted me to show it off yes, anyway. Yes, the stickers are gone. They were not. They were unsightly. It actually took a lot to scrape them off. We had to use lighter fluid. Oh, up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were really mm. stuck a after tip, a couple of years. Uh, that I picked up when I worked at a gift shop when I was very young. If you need to get adhesive off, lighter fluid. As long mm. as it doesn't damage the surface, comes off like a charm. There we go. 128 like by 64. Very low resolution. That's lower resolution than the Atari 2600. Oh, wow. Oh, well, yeah. Atari has 192 by 160. Yeah. So what did you get? So my completely non-video game related t-shirt that I got is this wonderful tarot cat, Four of Cups. I don't know if you can see it all. Yep. Up. Up, 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 up. up. There. Four of Cups with the cat knocking over the wine. <laughs> is it Four of Cups? Yeah. Four of Cups. I, I picked it because basically it reminds me of the black and white pixel cat. Gamer yep. cat. A gamer cat, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Four of Cups. Um, Gugon works well. Gugon, yes. Uh, basically, Four of Cups, uh, the tarot card, represents uh, ap apathy in the face <laughs> of um, opportunity. Uh, so it, it kind of also love, like kind of relates to um, uh, COVID. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's a, and it's a pixel, uh, pixel cat. It's a pixel cat, yeah. 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 So I had to get that. Just uh, uh, Who is the artist? I don't, I don't know if it says anywhere, but uh, it was one of the artists on Public, so... I thought it was super cute. And we ordered uh, two oh, other yes. shirts. This is my shirt. This is my cream shirt. That's why I was thinking I ordered it in cream. And these are from VHZC. VHZC. So this is his Commodore 64. Move over. Move over. Ah! There we go. Have you played today nice. with uh, 2600, um, uh, another 2600, <laughs> a 7800, and a 5200. Yeah. And uh, very nice. Yes. So we'll be uh, sporting these. Yes, in, for uh, sure, for shows. sure. There, there. And toss. Are you okay? I thought I was going to have an epic sneeze. Oh. oh. <laughs> and I didn't want to ruin your microphone. To. So we're slowly getting through all our stuff. <laughs> yeah, because we've been off for three weeks. And then I'll run away and I'll let these two play video games because... Uh, and uh, this it's tight on the couch. is uh, Intellivision overlays for the new game Intellivania, which is Castlevania mm. on the Intellivision. And uh, I'll probably get to that eventually when I upgrade my uh, Intellivision for mm -hmm. RGB. ZX Spectrum shirt would be great. Yep, ah. I'm sure they're out there. Um. And the rest, I believe, are limited run games. Or equivalent. Uh, here's one called Panzer Paladin. Here, hold it. I'm opening things. <laughs> There's not much to say about these because I can't remember what they're about. They're just, but they're all kind of eight bitty games. Eight bit modern games. Yeah. yeah. And lots of oh, lots of games. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, and this one is oh, a bunch of cards that they send as well. You have someone to. Is that a spam? Yeah, there's a spam on. Oh there. my god. Ban. Ban Hammer. Um, this is uh, Shantae. Um, oh, it's another one. But this is for the Game Boy Advance. Oh. This really? This is a new game for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. And also on the Switch. Yes. So you can play it on the Switch if Very you like. Nice. But I wanted to be famous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a game called Chasm. Nice. Another eight retro 8-bit type of game. Yeah. Or Chasm. Chasm? 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 I don't know. Depends on your perspective. Yes, it does. I believe this is from Limited Run as well, except a big box of them. Wait, didn't Shantae come out 20 years ago? That is the one. I believe it's replicating that one, but that one, like, the, if you want to buy the original, it's hundreds of dollars. Oh, hundreds I see. And hundreds. I see. It's a reissue then. Oh, it's two boxes in a box. Nice. Of who are these from? Oh, something fragile. This is from a company similar. What is it? SRG. I can't remember what that. Made in Texas. For. Something Run Games. I don't know what this is. Because after they Limited Run fancy. Games did so well, there was a whole bunch of other companies that popped up doing the same thing. Uh, special Reserve Games. That's what it is. 
So this is a shirt thing. Not sure what that is. Card. Very sealed up. I love opening boxes and seeing others open them. Yeah. Very exciting. Oh, minute. Oh. That's what it is. And is this a tea towel? People have probably heard of this. Or a scarf. That's the map. Oh. Remember old school oh. games? Big box games came with maps? Yeah. Yep. You've probably heard of Minute. What this game oh. is, is you die every minute. No matter what? No matter what. Do you die... But you progress. At least every minute? Every minute you die. You Can you die over. more quickly than one minute? Probably, yes. Okay. Um, but you like you, you have an expiry date. You're like a clone. Yeah. I'm not sure. But you have to get, accomplish a certain task every time within that minute mm. and then you move ahead and then you can build on that task and then do the next task <laughs> and i thought that was really cool and but it was only uh digital before mm. as most games are now and so they uh made it into an actual oh this one's a nice box oh very wow. nice box woof, woof, woof. even their packaging is pretty, woof, woof, woof. pretty gorgeous <laughs> yeah yeah, very nice packaging. Mm -hmm. You may keep this, actually, for sending things to people. <laughs> um, this one is Downwell. And this is kind of oh, a very pixely. vertical falling shooter. And you're falling down and you have to shoot things as you fall down. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so very cool concept. Yeah. yeah. And In the back, you can see box. very very pixelated. Uh, like the little picture on the back, I thought maybe uh, like asteroids onions. were follow, falling uh -huh. down the gravity well and you had to stop them. because. So there's platforms, <laughs> but the platforms fall away. And, mm. and I'm not yeah. sure about this rubbery weird texture, but it's kind of <laughs> weird. Okay. Which, which system is the down shooter for? Because oh. it, it makes it look like it's an NES cart, but... Uh, that's it doesn't even say oh on the packaging that's funny it's either first the switch or the ps4 i'm gonna guess ps4 yeah yeah ps4 it so does look very it. uh yeah you might as well oh there's something things. else in there uh oh <gasps> yeah very nice it. art oh it's a book and Ooh. it's bent oh now that's collector now Yours was bent from the factory. That's right, it's on camera. <laughs> you saw it here first. You know that wasn't a post-opening situation. So, oh, it's an instruction oh, book. Oh, nice. A little just instruction really book. That's cute. really dark and black. It's got yeah. like cardboard uh, cover and uh, that's really cute. I like that. Very nice. Yeah. And here we go. Uh, red and black. Down well for the PS4. Um, there you go. Nice. Very cool. Very so, nice. Lots to play. Uh, more more, more to play than to play. we have time so <laughs> oh god yes yeah. <laughs> we have to do make another show just yeah, for these games probably yes. yeah um daryl genther sent me some photos mm. from before he knew about the show <laughs> but before he knew about this show and it's photos of us oh that's hilarious okay and they are from prge 2019 oh really uh, apparently he took a lot of photos of PRG-19 <laughs> and then was looking through them the other day and went, wait a second, <laughs> I, know I know those, those people. people. <laughs> uh, has anybody else ever done that? To us? No, I don't no, think like so. No, like you, like you've taken a photo at a I, gathering and then later on you're like, I oh, now, I now background. know this person. Uh, it did happen to me, kind of. But I kind of met them, but kind of not. Like when I was looking for houses, like a long time ago, mm -hmm. before I knew you, like kind of a couple of years before I knew you. Yeah. Um, Tamara, and I think you were there too, maybe. I was house hunting and Adri came with us. Uh, yeah, that's right. And I didn't know Adri. Mm -hmm. And I never, I, that's the first time I saw her. And I didn't see her for years after like that. Like 10 years <laughs> or something. Yeah. And then I'm looking through photos and I'm like, what? But, uh, <laughs> what the hell? It's a tree in the photo. <laughs> From like I didn't even know ago. her then. Yeah. But I met her. Yeah. So I, it's not the well, same, but it's similar. It's not the yeah, same yeah. in the sense that we're all in the same neighborhood and area. So it's not that crazy. Mm -hmm. No. But, but this is an event, you know, you go to from different cities and yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's not that crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I can't see it yet. Wait. I wait, can't see it. can't I see it yet. Um, I'm react. I know, and you don't. I'm just enjoying all the information I have that you don't have yet. Oh, you're not gonna spoil it, are you? 
Oh, why is all this right, all weird? It's been weird? shared now. I don't know. There's like missing things. It's almost oh, no. as though somebody didn't back up their settings and oh. then <laughs> had to start from zero and didn't get it all set up properly. It's not the same. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That's working. What the bloody hell is happening? It's very frustrating. It, don't be too mad. <laughs> Literally everything got lost three days ago. So. Oh, my God. But the most important part is there. Yeah. Oh. oh. But I can't show certain things. Like, you know, I'll yeah. have to stretch it. One second. <laughs> This is making me really mad. You should all be lucky because you're not here. We're in the danger zone. Like, he, yeah. his arm's long the enough live, to get me the, the right ZPH here. The live configuration stream. So it's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, oh, there we go. That'll work. So there we are. <laughs> For anyone who has never seen the show, this is what it's like all the time. Thanks, yeah. D-Train. Yeah. yeah, thanks. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Uh, um, so there we are playing Satan's Hollow. Yay, Satan's Hello. There we are again. Nice. There we are again. <laughs> like, he's obviously taking, like, shots yeah, of, the whole, of the whole area. The whole yeah. area, yeah. And, uh... Me oh, looking... Wait, oh, yeah, filming, you. that's right. Uh, that's funny. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! Don't move it! Don't move it. There we go. Uh, so Just, annoying. Yeah. There we Don't go. Let it snap. So there's us filming Al Yuruso doing yeah. an interview with Al. There's me, there's Al, and this is the Atari Age uh, booth yeah. at 2019, <laughs> which was the last year that they had it. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. it's not happening this year either. Yeah. So we have to wait for 2022 for PRG to happen again. Oh my goodness. Too long. Um, he said he sent me these photos that he uh, took inadvertently of Tanya and I, PRG 2019. He wasn't aware of the show back then, and he assured me that he was not a creepy stalker fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet he recognized James first. Mm. Oh, probably. Yeah. The hair. The hair know. gives it away. Yeah. <laughs> um, so at least this view is working, because then we can show web pages. So there we go. Uh, Al. So Al Nefer posted this about the plus cart. He has put in or revealed uh, a plus cart paid binary area of the plus cart. Plus cart is a cartridge right here that you plug into your Atari 2600 and it gives it internet capabilities. Yeah. It hooks up to the internet and That's hooks up to a place where you can download and play games or even chat online with other plus cart users mm. uh play online darcy cool. was uh the first one to play with me mm. using the plus cart the first ever internet real-time video game we did on the show it was combat you remember that you were at home oh that's yeah. right and i was using the the java yeah, version yeah. javascript yeah. version yeah. yeah um but they've added a area where you can buy games now oh that's oh. cool none are for sale none are for sale yet so it's just in a trial mode first in the last yeah it didn't first work completely well but it was cool that it was it, happening it went off track yeah pretty quick. yeah it was cool that it was happening um he wrote on march 14th i just added experimental paid rom area for the draft users group downloading roms from these folders is free of charge currently there's no payment system implant implemented at all uh but you'll receive at the end of the month month an email with billing information so um so we've been seeing a lot of moves more towards binaries for the atari 2600 um being able to be bought mm -hmm. uh champ games was the first one mm -hmm. out of the gate because right now you can go to the champ games website and buy uh, a couple of their games and just the binaries you don't have to buy a cartridge anything and now the plus cart store is enabling that mm. they haven't prices yet um and soon atari age will be setting up their binary only purchasing store as well so that's uh pretty pretty cool yeah that is cool yeah i wonder if al nefer is taking 30 percent too <laughs> who knows yet we'll see maybe it's uh gonna go with uh, open source and all the money goes towards the developers no he has he has servers to run so i'm sure he needs to take a bit of it um there was a very cool video um posted recently 
on uh, YouTube on a channel that I follow called Retro Game Mechanics Explained. Uh, I'm going to have to keep it in this format, but that's fine. And uh, if you've never watched Retro Game Mechanics Explained, you definitely should, especially if you're a developer. Um, he has amazing motion graphics uh, while explaining how a lot of classic game consoles work. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mostly about the graphics. Uh, yesterday he went over the basics of the, how the Atari 2600 displays graphics on the screen and it's re represented in a, presented in a really good way. Like it's so, so good. And he's like, oh, there's the chip and uh, the chip handles the drawing of the screen. And he talks about how, how many bits it takes to draw a 2600 screen uh, and the timing of mm. when you draw when it draws and when you ah. have to load the graphics mm. before it draws it the next time uh he mostly focuses on nes um stuff let's go to another part here but this is atari 2600 this is 2600 neat there you go there's and he goes through it like uh instruction by instruction how long those instructions take yeah which instructions they are it's really really cool and you can see he's laid out per pixel mm. per instruction uh let's see it's it's so well presented right he has all the commands up there mm. color coded he's got how the screen displays so so good mm. yeah the comments are the funny part i actually have a note about that let's see uh there you go one machine cycle equals three pixels um yeah the comments under the video are hilarious um and it seems the explanation of how the 2600 works has scared off a bunch of them. They're like, oh my god, <laughs> that's insane. One of the comments says, hey, Atari devs, are you all okay? Do you, do you need therapy? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, where are the comments? Oh, it's you have to expand it. Uh, usually show more. Cool. Yeah. No? Oh, where? Oh, it's maybe below that? Oh, yeah, there yeah. they are. Okay. This is probably as close as you can to get to bare metal. Uh, Normal sprite man management. Okay, you want this sprite at 12200? Sure thing. Atari sprite manager. Okay, you want a sprite? Okay, you want it to be five pixels offset? How far along the screen do you want it? You know what? I'll drag along the screen and you can tell me when to stop. Tick, tick, tick. Okay, stop. Sure. Now, what graphic do you want to put on your sprite? Actually, hold on. I'm going to have to need to hand it to me row by row. Yeah, it's really, really, really funny. Yeah. Um, it's very, very technical, but it's still interesting for people who aren't technical to watch it but yeah. for people who are technical it's still a good mm. tutorial uh another development uh hardware development is the hokey chip um and batari posted this not a week ago um what it does is replace the pokey chip which is an add-on sound chip for mm. 7800 games it mm. was used in two games in the original run commando and a uh, ball blazer and uh what he has done he's made a chip that you can pop in to those games or future homebrew games to replace that and so far right now there only exists a, a handful of others but they have a lot more abilities so they're they start at like 40 dollars and 44 oh, I see. I see. um there is the uh, pokey one yeah. and the pokey max both at 40 and 43 or you can destroy a ball blazer cart, which I did, <laughs> and destroyed the chip in the process as well. Yeah. Then I took one out of a 5200. Um, but these start at $10 mm. instead of 40 But they have stripped down, uh, it's a stripped down version. But he's also going to be offering ones that have more capabilities. So he's working on that. Yeah. So they're not for sale nice. yet, but soon, soon, soon. Um, for $10, you get the basic Hokey, which is a single Pokey. An ability to add likely one additional sound driver, possible du dual pokey. For a little more, you get the standard hokey, which has more memory. Uh, that should allow for dual pokey. For the ultimate experience, for slightly more, there's the advanced hokey. Uh, should support quad pokey, so you've got four sound uh, chips on it. Hmm. Dozens of sound drivers, plus many waveforms, digital samples, and more. The advanced hokey uses the digital analog chip chipset for a CD player. So you can get CD quality sound if you want. Wow. A standard 3.5 millimeter sound jack could be used for output. So if yes. you can store the audio, yeah. mm -hmm. I guess on a 7800 cartridge, or pipe it in somehow if you want to make a, an add-on or something, uh, then you can do that. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, okay, and the new batch of Atari Age games are almost here. There are buckets of uh, the boxes there mm. uh, that Al has posted. He's been updating this thread, um, and I will copy and paste that for people. Um, so you can keep up to date on where your game is that you've ordered. Mm. So there is a bin of the uh, of the uh, boxes. And there are bins of the cartridges mm -hmm. that have the games loaded on them, I believe. Mm. You can see he's uh, scrubbed all the all the labels off. Nice. And uh, he's got some more pictures on here. It's really nice. He's posted pictures. Uh, there's more drawers. Oh, that's somebody quoting him. There's Oof. the Zookeeper uh, oh, wow. PCBs. Wow because it's a little bit more advanced it needs an arm chip on it wow. right that's so cool um just finished the second bin of zookeeper cartridges so they're pretty popular game yeah. uh, more bins and there are the posters huh. uh for zookeeper and venture reloaded mm -hmm. yeah so is the chat now ahead of the stream <laughs> i don't know how that's possible. well i post i post that so that my chat is always ahead of the stream right Oh, true. Right? Yeah. Um, so, let's see. The extra games for these orders will also be built this week, so all the games will be boxed next weekend, which is this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be ready to ship everything out. Nice. So, thank you for following uh, Katen Hodo Mike. Uh, <laughs> Mike thank you for following. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now it's time to the, for the games. Yay! Okay, okay. I'm going to replace myself. Okay. Throw the cat in. Yep. What? So let's take a look at the poll. How do we do? Oh, oh. Nope. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, the poll's not over, so there's still more time. Alright. So the first game is Keijo Chases the Cheese. And this is a an exclusive final version of it. I don't think you've played it, have you? I don't think so. Okay. So that's good. So you get to mm, play it. Because I haven't played any 7800 7, games. Well, it's a 2600 game. It's oh. all 2600 games today. Oh, right. Um, so let's switch over to that. Is that okay? Yep, that's normal. Oh, I see. It's just that thing on the top. Yeah. At first, it's like, oh, my God. What's happening? What, I, what have I done? So there's the new layout for everyone. Um, oh, I need to Later, D train. that name. Um... So, yeah, go to today. So we've got the layout. See the orange border? That's from the 2600. See the orange border on the 2600 mm -hmm. there? Um, so I've ah, it around there. So fancy. Page homebrew at the top. Oh, and you do have the webcam work in there. Yes. So it is functioning. It just wasn't on the other screen because mm -hmm. I didn't have time to put it in. Mm -hmm. And I've isolated the uh, cartridge art so you can see it fully. And you can see my feet there. In the webcam, and now we've got uh, followers. Doorbell! New sub and new followers. <laughs> Doorbell. Okay, let's load her up. So, this is from Leonardo Santiago. Um, so, I'll give you the basics. You have to get the cheese, and after you've got all the cheese in the maze, mm -hmm. the door opens, you go for the door. Okay. There are little blocks that appear and disappear. Mm -hmm. Don't run into them. Also, don't run into the door before it's open because it'll pause you. And I believe the thing you run into knocks your time down. Ah. You have 40 seconds. <clears throat> uh, the level is on the right. And there's some numbers underneath. Uh, not sure what they are right now. It's the date. So uh. You should be able to start by pressing the button. There you go. Oh, oh I see. And so what I... Oh. So, oh, you have to figure your way out how to get that cheese. Nope. And there's cute little uh, mice running noises with the little feet. There you go. Now you got it. Now this is an incredible game. It is super fun. And also, I didn't notice till I was uh, playing it the other night. Oh! No! Oh, no! <laughs> Quick! Seven! Six! No! no. Oh, actually, it just resets you, don't. Oh, oh, one! Oh, so close. You almost made it. So you got ten points. I was uh, pushing it. 
And then the block showed up as I was moving. So this was first posted February 6th, 2021, and I believe we had the exclusive debut of this game as well. Um, the really cool thing about this game is that the cheese is in a random location. Yeah, I was time. just going to say. So you can't really memorize, oh, I get that one, then that one, then that one. Because you, it's it's different. So it's in a open area in the maze. Yay. Yeah. So we've got some instructions here. Actually, I've got some uh, box screenshots as well to show you guys um, that I'll show afterwards. So, Keijo chases the cheese. User manual. You control Keijo, a mouse that walks quickly in a straight line. Your goal is to collect the pieces of cheese that appear sequentially in the room of the houses, avoiding the mouse traps before running the 40-second time runs out. Oh, get in that house. Oh, oh I know. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got time. You can do it. Oh, almost. Oh, it's the, the cube uh, betrayed me. Yep. It waited too long. I blame the cube. It's never my fault. The Dan cube Borg. is uh, Dan Borg. entirely to blame. Um, the game has six houses, each containing... 10 rooms in the shape of a maze. In the first house, it is necessary to collect four pieces of cheese, and in each new house, you need to collect one more piece. Um, so there's 10. ten ah! Oh, it just pauses you. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, that's the noise that I make, apparently, <laughs> ah! when... Uh... When it happens, when it happens. So Keijo, the fast little mouse that runs in a straight line. Once the direction has been chosen, it's not possible to change the movement. The mouse stops only when an obstacle is hit. I, the, I have one complaint. Oh, no. Yeah. So uh, when you win, it looks like you just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Which is disturbing, especially when I have been previously um, exploding. Oh, okay, yeah. And the clever thing about this game as well is that every... Oh, God, got to get one more. Every maze, you can get to... I'm just going to hide in this corner. <laughs> so you made it to uh, house uh, 10 room, room, room number three, because there's yeah. 10 in each house. Um, but the good thing is that you get used to the maze. Yeah. And it's, no! and it's very cle clever the way he did it. He made it made he made sure that you can get to every spot in every maze somehow. There's no spot you can't get to, so that means that the um... ah! oh, it just appeared. Yeah, I, I, that's still my fault though, because I was, knew that it was coming. Once a very light mouse decided to leave the peaceful life of the countryside in search of new adventures in the city. His oh. name was Keijo. After looking for a new home for ah. days, the, ro the friendly rodent finally found a quiet neighborhood with plenty of food. But his daily hunt for food has been had to be stopped as soon as the neighbor residents noticed the new tenant's presence. In order to ward off the unwanted visitor, mouse traps were scattered from then on on everyone to... Uh, and from then on, everyone turned their attention to small noises that a mouse might make when wandering between rooms. To help code uh, Keijo, only somebody who is perceptive and of excellent logical reasoning would have the necessary skills to lead our little friend through the rooms of the houses, collecting cheese, avoiding the mouse traps, and running away before time runs out. Um, so, the cheese. Pieces of a cheese appear one after the other in different locations and guarantee you five points each. A uh, mouse trap. The mouse trap alternates between visible and hidden and cannot be touched. If this occurs, the player loses five points. Oh, it's points you lose, not time. Uh, and returns to the starting position of the level. The door. The exit uh, for the next level is the door, but it cannot be touched while it's closed or the lights will come on and you'll be immobile for three seconds. Ah, so it's <laughs> Uh, when you pass the level, the remaining time is added to the total points. So the faster you do it, the more points you get. Uh, 
the score below and to the left in red the timer shows the time remaining to complete the level uh blank in the center the time player score on the right the same color as the walls of the house the level indicator uh, the diffi uh, difficulty of the levels will increase, so don't be surprised if you find more than one mouse trap. Oh, or the lights go out completely in the rooms. No, dark mazes. Uh, controls. The uh, yeah, we know what the controls are. Acknowledgements. I would like to thank the people who helped make Kjo Chases the Cheese a reality. I thank my family, uh, Giselle and Alice Santiago, for giving me adequate support in the development of the game, and to my friend Leonardo Camaro for helping in various elements of the game, suggesting improvements and being the official beta tester, and Claudia Marie Maria for work on the wonderful Australian wow. illustrations that make up the graphic materials. Uh, you can return to the beginning of the game by pressing the reset anytime. The rest of the console switches have no effect. Uh, the when you turn on the console, your game serial number will appear ah! at the bottom of the screen. Oh. Sorry, I, I, I got Did you froze. die? No. Oh, frozen. Okay. Developer notes. Keijo is a game of logic and quick thinking. My intention in developing is to create a fascinating game that could trap players and activate the competitive spirit among them, forcing them to beat each other's scores. Hope you have fun playing, just as I had fun developing. Ah! And this is a 4K, <laughs> 4K game. I got to 7. Ooh, good. Are you um, yes, I will play next. And Only if you finished reading. Uh, almost. You know I can't read. <laughs> That's true. That is a very sad fact. Uh, after nine months of development, today is announced the completion of K the game Keijo Chases the Cheese. From programming to the creation of the box, manual and box. This is from Leonar Leonardo, who also made uh, Egypt Quest and Unholy. Uh, the game will be complete in box, so a box will come with this, and all its components are new, such as the boards and cartridge housing. No original cartridges were sacrificed for the game to be released. The production and distribution will be through the publisher Red Button Games. That's a great name. Uh, which was created for the release of this and new titles in the future. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, oh. boy. Too many crickets. Uh, oh! Uh, right, up, right, down, down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> up, right, down left right. no that doesn't work how do you get that uh oh um i think i figured out okay hitting the closed door looks like it could still be a valid strategy if yes. you have enough time yeah yes. you're correct it is yeah. so you had to do that on that i don't know i was thinking but it, that it but, was... but you are you correct could. it would be a valid strategy sometimes yeah yeah but there must be a way to not Oh, I know. Okay, down, left, up, right, down, yeah. left. And that's how you would have got the other one. Uh, the graphic material that makes up the game was designed by Claudia Maria, uh, passionate about Atari 2600 and known in well-known in the Atari community in Brazil. For anybody interested in putting their name on the waiting list and have not yet contacted me, send an email to contact at redbuttongames.com.br. So if you want this game, it is now for sale. I, oh, it's not for sale yet. And as soon as the game is being distributed, we will contact you. Uh, the version number you will play is the final version. So this is the final version, but it has a feature. Each copy is the serial number displayed on the score when the console turns on. This copy is number three. So that's what that number was. 0003. And the score will show oh! 21003, <laughs> uh, re referring to the development year and the serial number. So. Uh, I, want, I have to thank everyone who helped me in this process, especially Leandro, Camara, Claudio Maria, and and sh and to you, James, and Zero Page Homebrew. Well, thank you very much. No. Yes. No. 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 <laughs> yes. No. Yes. There. There. Go. 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 Oh! <laughs> I mean, if I get that excited, that's that's good, right? I'm sorry for the no. noise, but. Claudio Maria, who did this illustrations, is here now. She is Tremtube, who oh. brought a whole bunch of people over, nice. actually. So she's a streamer as well. 
Well, I like this game, so I don't know if that was clear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you were yelling at it. I don't know. Was that a good yell or a bad yell? I guess it was a good yell. Well, uh, I'm not... Uh, yeah, this is my kind of game. I like it. Me too. Oh my god. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, starts right away. Oh my god. And just the fact that the cheese position changes, even if you replay the same level, yeah, that's great. is so good. Mm -hmm. Because you won't get... Oh god. Mm -hmm. What? Mm. No. Mm. Oh my god! I have to go, like, up, don't I? Yeah. Yep. I need to get all these cheeses quick! You can do it! That you did not, it! That was not a good run. Close call. So once you've kind of mastered the ten houses, it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, oh yeah, I was kept, kept running into that. That was not a good... Uh, oh, just lost ten points. Oh, I had to! I had to. <laughs> but I didn't lose points. Go! Get out of the way! I know, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, mouse trap. I find a good strategy is kind of head in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, because you usually can kind of figure it out on the way. Yep, and if you can't, you have figured out that that, that didn't work. And sometimes that's part of what you have to do is figure out that, that didn't work. Yes. <laughs> because you don't have time to figure it out properly. <laughs> no, it's like just, oh, God. Lost points. I'm going for. Oh, it's okay. Where's cheese? Where's the cheese? And the patter of the mouse's the mouse feet is so good. Oh god! Do I have to go all the way around? Yeah. Oh god! I have to do this, then this, then this. Yeah. Some are very multi-step. Not obvious whatsoever. You are on number eight, so. Oh god. Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna die. Damn it! Mm -hmm. Over there and across, down and up. You had to get here. Uh, okay, there, 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 there. No. What? Oh, I see. And then down and across. Okay, yeah. I got it. That one. Uh. And I bet he made all these mazes and then figured out, okay, which is the hardest and put them in the order of easiest to hardest to navigate. Because this one is is fairly simple to get around as I run into the mousetrap. Twice. I love when people cram a lot of gameplay. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Thomas loves that. Because his <laughs> game, Robot City, is 4K as well. And mm. it's, it's very kind of similar. It has so much gameplay in um, in such in 4K as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh my god. Good to know that this game has only 4K, it, but it's it's got so much going for it in the 4K. Mm -hmm. What is? Oh my God! <laughs> Am I stupid? Oh no! Yeah. No. Oh, it's got to be like from here. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! It's really messing with. Oh, 
Well, you don't go into the negatives. <laughs> I just <laughs> showed that off because I crashed into it before I got any points. And I lost points. I mean, the big points come when you finish the level. This one's actually one of the tougher ones from the perspective of that position where the trap is. Because it's central. Is crucial. Yeah, you Not all of them you have to pass. Like, And some of them it's like you might have to run into it. And this one it's like in order to go from one side of the maze to the other side, you have to go past that trap. I had more trouble with that one than I did with some of the later ones. Although, um, because they're randomly placed, that could be just luck. Uh, it could be, yeah. Uh, because you're trying to... Some of them are like, okay, yeah, I know how to get that. Really easy. Like, that that round was, like, blazingly fast because they were mm -hmm. all in... I actually, that one is kind of open. I found that that one was... Um... Oh. Can't even see that. That one took multi-steps to get. Oh, you have to remember where it is, too. Yeah. Or else you're, like, just running into it while you're... No. Up left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's gonna... Helping in the chat for this type of game is really hard because of the delay and you're mm -hmm. already kind of past where you need the help. <laughs> yeah, I guess the cheese could be theoretically in front... Um, in front of the door. Like, it's an open spot. Mm -hmm. And you just have to kind of deal with it. And you just take, uh, get hit by the door. But the program knew that, and it doesn't really penalize you. It just, like, penalty in terms of, oh, that's like the path I have to go all the time. Yep. To get almost everything. Just the cheese. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Oh. oh my god! <laughs> I have to go up here. Mm -hmm. And then down here. And then get hit. I don't care. Oh no! Up, up. Oh, you got, it. you got it. One second left. Like, you almost have to do that on that one. There's probably another way, but I, I probably had to do the. Yeah, that. See? Mm -hmm. Oh! Good. That was very lucky. That was a. <sighs> it didn't even come on the screen yet. I know. Uh, uh, it's a hardship. Yes. Um, I think I have to go around. Yeah, that's the easiest. Sometimes it lines up perfectly. That was close, that one. Oh, I'm on uh, house number two. Ah! And I think you have to get one more cheese this time. So you pretty much have less time mm -hmm. equivalent yep. to get more cheese. There we go. Oh, that was risky. And wasted. Yeah, wasted. <laughs> it was. You needed to go up and then to the left. Oh, that was a gimme. There we go. No! Get out of there! There's no time for that! No! <laughs> Into the house again! Get out! <laughs> When the alarm starts, all I can hear is, run, run, get to the choppa. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I think 
It's uh, yeah. There you are. Cross right. No. Oh. Teamwork. Oh, oof, oof. I get to claim some credit because I helped, slightly helped. Yeah. Sometimes. It's <laughs> sometimes it's easier. Mm, I'll look. To like, have a I'm not sure. A thrust is wondering if the mouse trap moves sometimes. Uh, not so far. Uh, in the instructions, it says that there is sometimes two mouse traps. Ah. But we haven't encountered that. We're just on the second house. So far, so. Not yet. Get. Actually, it would have been advantageous just to die because it would have reset me. But it cost you points. Eh, I'm going for levels. You're going the distance? I'm going for speed. Because, <laughs> really. Mm hmm. No! How do I do it? How? How? Help, help! Ah, uh, there! There, Oof. you do it that way. Ah. Uh, that was help. Help! <laughs> there you go. It's so... <laughs> it's funny that you literally, um... There you go. It's so weird to wrap your head around this concept. Mm -hmm. VH said C has a game like this as well. Um, his is, his is different. So it's not quite the same. His has, uh, it's, l it's less like this and more obstacles. It's not as, uh, not as mazy. And more about a little bit of this. Ah, uh, that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take the five point hit. Oh, you bastard. Here. Nope. I have to go here. Ah! No! Oh. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. I forget how to do this. Oh, that was yeah, almost there. Yeah, you had it. 18. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to be a game for uh, After Dark because I do want to do more of that. <laughs> and I think you get a lot better as time goes on with that one because you get more used to the 10 mazes and how you, it's like, oh, I should remember that's how you get to yeah, yeah. the door. Yeah. You know? When you first play it, you're just. It's like, what? How? Area. What? Um, so it was a tie. For the poll, uh, do you use walkthroughs or hints for games? Um, a tie between I use hints very sparingly, and I have hints on hands to get through tough spots, which were very similar. I probably should have combined those two together. Yeah, I was going to say, because I... So I don't know if I say I have them... No, I, I, sparingly... Sparingly is like you look them up. And on hand is like, I have this thing yeah, open all the, on the time. on hand, that, that is the key difference there. Like, I don't have them on hand... I have to force myself to yeah. look them up, which... It depends. Once I... once I, If I'm playing a game, once I need to look something up, then I guess I do have them on hand because uh, I know where to look them up. Well, yeah, and you could close the browser, I guess. Yeah. So um, we're going to take a look at the box art before we uh, run away from this. Uh, so let me try and position it in the funky way that I have to. Bastard. Okay, there we go. Uh, so here is the box art. Is that the front? Okay, so there's the back of that. There's the front. Very cute yeah, it's artwork. Good. It's really good. Yeah. Great representation of the mouse running around all fretting. Andrew chases the cheese. Fun at just 4KB. Love that. That's awesome. Uh, and there's 60 different levels for one player using joystick. And then it shows examples of the screen. Yeah, very cute. And uh, there is the, the front cover of the manual, I believe. Yep. Very awesome. And I think I have um, some pictures of the manual as well. Let's see if I can get to that easily. Yeah, so that was the manual. There's what I read out, pretty much. Awesome. 
Super fun game. Looking forward to playing that some more. Definitely. So let's go to the next game. Mr. Darcy. And it will be, if you can load it up, Mr. Yo-Yo. And I'll change Mr. the Yo -Yo. graphics there. There we go. Hi. You going somewhere? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Mr. Yo-Yo, players, happy, level one. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just do level one single player right now. So, Mr. Yo-Yo, this is the exclusive final binary of it, oh. so thank you so much, David Marley, uh, known as Dave Am. So, yes, have you played this? No. Okay. So, you press your button to go down the screen with the Yo-Yo. You collect the notes to progress to the next level. Ah! Don't get hit by those things. Oh, you... the string's okay. String's okay for most things, but as you go up levels, the string will not be okay, because there'll be scissors to cut them. Okay. Uh, you can also shoot them by pressing left and right. Shoot the enemies. So you got a lot of bonus points because you played that very quick. But for the most part, you probably want to no dodge them. Uh, oh, you have to shoot them now to gain notes. Wow. So it's a very different kind of control scheme. The, the sad face looks genuinely sad. <laughs> He's upset. No, the happy and face looks genuinely sad. And you happy. want the coins too. If they're they're for points. There are power ups as well, but I'll I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Um, because I've printed instructions for this. See, the sad face is appropriate because people are going to be feeling the or sad face I? I don't as they uh, discover that uh, they have to watch me play this. <laughs> and I am not so good at this. Yo, get good. Get good. Get good. Get gone. Just get good. Um. So this is his first game. Mr. Yo-Yo. Um, you can download previous builds of this in the Atari Age forums if you want to play it. Uh, this one's from May 24th, 2021. Um, this is a 4K game as well. Uh, David wrote me, Hi James, I just want to thank you for your support. You've shown my game since day one. Ah! Having you on your show brought the game to so many more people than I ever could have imagined. When I started working on it, I really didn't think anyone else would pay attention to it. I just hope uh, I could end up with something playable that I could enjoy and maybe pass along to a few friends. Instead, I've heard from people all over the globe who have played the game and are enjoying it. Amazing. Sorry, uh, nostalgic um, cheese was in the last game. This game doesn't have any cheese. <laughs> That's a good answer to that question. Uh, no, because if you stay at the top, well, it's hard because you don't stop moving. I think. Yeah, that is the trick. Yeah. Pressing the button goes all the way down letting go of the button goes all the way up so it's an on off situation it's not a it's not fine control yeah it's not an up and down the control scheme is very different for this game and that's what makes it unique oh uh, what makes it hard for me is that um i'm not good uh, so just think of a yo-yo when you're throwing a yo-yo down it's going down and you pull it up you can pull it all the way up but it can't stop it can only stop at the end where you're doing like um, i mean you can turn around but yeah it, it oh oh is it a sleeping sleeping dog like you throw it on the ground and it spins on the bottom oh so that's yeah, yeah. what you're doing on the bottom oh you did much worse hey the, you don't that <laughs> sort of commentary is not required yes <laughs> Anyways, as, saying, uh, as a way of saying thanks, I'm attaching the Atari Age store release candidate of the game. Um, da, 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 da. It's the same as the final digital release with the addition of two Easter eggs. You'll, uh, you'll get one of them oh, for, collect, for completing level 9. Well, good luck to us. This game is challenging, I've found. Uh, but I'm keeping the method of revealing the other one a secret. He says, by the way, I've been enjoying this show a lot. I rarely get to watch live, but I almost watch it later. Almost always watch it later on YouTube. I've been hopelessly addicted to Robot City. Ah, uh, Thomas. Uh, since Atari Age Day. Lol. Anyway, thanks for your support. Enjoy the time off. Good luck with whatever repairs and modifications you need to make. And I look forward to watching the show when it returns. Yes, uh, I did have to change some things around... 
between now I just realized what, what, what they've done here. The sneaky thing that they've done. What's that? Um, it's not just that you use the button to do a joystick thing, but you use the joystick to do a button thing. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's backwards control. Because it would be a lot ah. easier to just move up and down with the joystick. But that's that's not the name of the game here. It's a yo-yo. It, it, it needs special controls. Um... Do, 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 do. So you get to read. And I get Reading. to play. I do like the animations a lot. The rolling is smooth. Don't you know how old I am? <laughs> this, this print is far too far too small for I'm an old sorry. man. Where I'm do trying I read to not from? waste paper. Uh, <laughs> oh no! You don't have your glasses? I'm just kidding. I was okay. exaggerating. Oh, okay. I, I was trying to be funny. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you for following a cardboard box. I didn't know cardboard boxes could what? be followed. Uh, oh, oh, God. Follow? You or said thanks watch. for following a cardboard box. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, I guess you can follow a cardboard box, <laughs> and a cardboard box can follow. Oh, I'm, like, messing up the controls. Hello, car a cardboard box. Hello. Okay. You'll always have a home if you are a cardboard Number box. one, background. It should have been a good day for Mr. Yo-Yo. After spending years living in that dusty old toy box, Mr. Yo-Yo was finally able to move out and find a place on his own. Of his own. He found a nice little townhouse in the outskirts of Land of... Oh, I missed it. Damn it. At 8K? At 8K? Oh, yeah? 8K? Yeah, that makes sense. That's, That's the answer. Land of 8K. Just far enough from the downtown area so that it's nice and quiet, yet not so close to the farms that he could smell the cows. It all, it all seemed perfect. So happy was he about his move that he decided to throw himself a housewarming party. He invited over all his musical friends, the Noteflies. 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 I'm guessing. Probably, yeah. You know, the tiny little musical note guys that are responsible for all the music in the world. Mr. Yo-Yo and the Noteflies were having quite a party in his yard when the most terrible thing happened. They ran out of onion dip. <laughs> <laughs> onion dip? <laughs> That no problem, said crime. Mr. Yo-Yo. You know at least stay here while I go get some... Uh, sorry, while I go get some more. And Mr. Yo-Yo rolled off down to the corner convenience store. <laughs> he picked up some dip, and while he was there, he figured he'd load up on beverages as well. But as he rolled back to his new townhouse, something seemed wrong. It was too quiet. Oh, that's the worst. On his way out, he could hear the Notley's music from a few blocks away, but now, on his way back... He couldn't hear a thing. Surely the lack of onion dip wouldn't cause Notley's to go silent. Something must be wrong! <laughs> his Notley friends were nowhere to be seen. He found a note pinned to his front door. It read, Hey you, keep it down, will ya? Your party is far too loud. We tried calling the HOA, but it's Saturday <laughs> night and no one's answering. That's so we decided to abduct all your no Notley friends. Hey, they level spelled three. Notley differently this time. Level one? Still on level one? Oh, did they? Yeah. Uh-oh, proofread before you send that off to the printers. I like this second spelling. I wouldn't have spelled. I wouldn't have pronounced it wrong if it had been this way the whole time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want them back? You'll find them at the bottom of the caves of blah. <laughs> Sincerely, the monsters from the caves of blah. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm sure you'll love it here. We've been here for five years, and it's just the best. <laughs> This Mr. Yo-Yo knew what he had to do. First, put the dip and drinks into the fridge so they wouldn't spoil. <laughs> After all, he just went through all the trouble of going to the store get, to get some. True. It would be a real shame if, if uh, to let them sit on the counter and go bad. Then, of course, he'd have to use some, use the map app on his phone to find where the heck the caves of blah are. And probably stop off and get some gas in his in his car on the way over. But then, he would go rescue the Notley's. As <laughs> soon as he gets a snack. Gameplay. You control Mr. Yo-Yo. You are given five lives at the start of the game. One in play, and the other four in reserve. Very involved backstory for Mr. Yo-Yo, Metal Lunar 7. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, a note on the player counter. I believe it is correct. And by correct, I mean this is not an objective opinion. <laughs> this is the opinion. Yes, we had a <laughs> It tells you how many you have in reserve. Yes. Uh, oh my god. Not, uh, how many? it does not include the one you're using. Yeah, it, that's how it should be. How it should be. There should be standards and practices. And, and standard, that's one of them. That's right. And but we did determine that there was a time. And I can't remember what it was, but there are games where... Where... It's 
fine. Where it's sometimes oh the God. other way is correct, and I can't remember why. But we did figure out like there are certain types of games where like mm. oh maybe when you can bring on more than one person on the screen at a time. Yeah. And that that counts, and you can take them off. Oh, like Galaga. But there, no, no, no. There, That's this still... way matters. But there is a way in which the other way oh makes God. sense, and I can't remember what it is, but it'll come to us. Did I die? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Story of yo-yos all over the, the place. The story huh? yo-yos all over the place. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, using a noun as a verb. Um, nice. <laughs> <to die. laughs> I mean, it's 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 a real it's, it's a real it's, verb, but it's been yeah, yeah. so verbed. It's it's been. It's been. It was first. It was noun, and now you've reverbed it. <laughs> reverbed it's both it. a noun and a verb. <laughs> yes, it is. You can yo-yo a yo-yo. That's why English is so magical. You can verb nouns. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to reading this very tiny print. <laughs> it could be tinier. It could be so small that I actually couldn't I could, read it instead I, of just small enough to make me complain. I could have put four on a page. Four to a page. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that'd be too dead. The object of the game is to descend to the bottom of the cave and rescue the Notleys by returning them to the top of the cave. When a Notley is ready to be rescued, it will appear at the little bucket area at the bottom of the cave. Pick up the Notley, descend to the bottom of your string, Mr. Yo-Yo. Uh, descend to the bottom of your string. Mr. Yo-Yo oh. will begin flashing various colors to indicate you've picked up a Notley. Then return to the top of the screen to release the Notley to freedom. Mr. Yo-Yo will return to his oh normal color God. and you can get ready to rescue the, the next Notley. Sometimes you may have to shoot some enemies to get the note leaves to appear. The further you get into the level, the further you get into a level of caves, the more timid the note leaves become. You'll have to shoot more and more enemies for them to have the courage to appear. The cave inhabitants. Yes. There are five different types of creatures inside the caves. If Mr. Yo-Yo comes in contact with any of them, he'll lose a life. Some of these creatures may also interact with, with Mr. Yo-Yo's string in various ways. So be sure to keep an eye out above you if you're spending a lot of time at the bottom of one of the caves. Gloves. Yeah. Boring, slow, predictable. These gray creatures roam across the caves in a straight line. Rumor has it that despite their lack of, well, anything, they're actually pretty good dancers. <laughs> they don't care about your string, but if they come in contact with you, they'll bounce you out of there. They'll bounce you out of there. That Sometimes reading is hard. Flappers. Purple bat-like creatures that move quickly about the caves, bobbing up and down as they fly around. Yeah. They're very happy. To, they're very happy-go-lucky types that'll just fly around your string without a care in the world. Bouncers! You know that guy that you invite to your parties and he never leaves until you blast him in the face with the laser gun? That's this guy. <laughs> These blue fish never leave until you shoot them. If they hit your string or the edge of the screen, they'll simply turn around and speed up. They'll continue to bounce off things and tell you to get rid of them. Stunners! Big, ugly green heads with lightning bolt shaped horns sticking out of its forehead. If a stunner touches Mr. Yo-Yo's string, he'll send electrical charge down the string that will stun Mr. Yo-Yo for a couple seconds. During that time, Mr. Yo-Yo won't be able to move or shoot, and he'll be completely helpless against any attackers. They will show you, they will show you just a little bit of mercy, though. While you're stunned, no new stunners will appear. They'll wait until you've regained full control before coming after you Oh again. my god, I have so much trouble with those guys that bounce back and forth against your string. I think I've died every time with them. That sounds like a sad story. It is. It's a sad tale. Snippers, the most dangerous and most intelligent of the cave monsters. Snippers are large red scissors that fly around the caves. Naturally, if they can reach Mr. Yo-Yo's string, they'll cut it, sending Mr. Yo-Yo falling to the depths of the caves and costing you a life. The snippers start out moving slow, but if you manage to shoot a couple of them, they'll speed up their attack, making them extra dangerous. But the snippers also know when they're beaten. If you can shoot a fast-moving snipper... They'll stop coming after you. They'll leave you alone until you move on to another cave or you lose a life. During this time, as a bonus, more coins and power pods those. will appear than, than normal. You're not supposed to shoot what? I think I'm supposed to shoot those. Which? Those square blocks. But I didn't shoot them. I, ca I, I captured them and I didn't get a bonus. I captured a lot of them. Did pretty good. Level Other two. Other objects you'll find I'll start at level two. in the caves. I'm supposed to shoot them. Yeah, I think so. There's, oh, developers in the chat. Welcome. I'll start in level two because I made it to level two. Other objects you'll find in the caves. Coins. The, sil the silly tourists of the caves of blah toss coins into the caves for luck. Of course it doesn't work. And it just, and it just causes the coins to pile up at the bottom of the cave. Woohoo! 
uh, with all the monsters flying around, it stirs up these coins, and you'll sometimes see a coin fly across the screen. Just, just like in real life, you can collect the coins, or you can shoot them. And just like in real life, they're worth much more if you collect them. <laughs> sure, you will get a few points for shooting them, but you'll get much more if you collect them. Ah! Collecting coins will also automatically trigger the next notely to appear at the bottom of the screen, bottom of the cave, unless you're already carrying a notely. Uh, and it also doubles the point value for each notely you rescue. Yeah, so collecting them is better. The, the coins. Yeah. Yeah. At the start of the game, this value is set at 200 points for each notely rescued. And by collecting coins, you can run it up to 3,200 points for each notely rescued. Each time you lose a life, however, the amount of points you receive for each notely rescued is reset to 200. So it's a multiplier of the coins. Oh, wow. Uh, it multiplies all the notelys that you uh, oh rescue. Oh, God. Oh, that snipped my... What was that green guy? Was he snipping? No. Uh, he did something bad. Stunners. Stunners. Oh, luckily I was at the bottom of the screen. Uh... Yeah. We'll play two player in a moment. Oh, God! Blue guys. Power pods! Round white flashing pods with a P on the side, just like the coins. You can shoot them or collect them. And like the coins, it's better to collect them. So you want to collect the power pod. Okay. Shooting power pod will score you a few points and also clear the screen of enemies, much like a smart bomb effect. You'll also get points. Oh my. to get points for the enemies you clear in this manner. If you collect a power pod, it triggers a coin frenzy. All enemies on the screen at the time turn into coins, which may or may not con contravene several articles of the Geneva Convention. But more importantly, <laughs> do not happen to contravene any articles in the land of Aki HOA Charter, so it's perfectly okay to transform living tissue into metal currency. Hi, Maestro Kronos. It was a stunner, right? Okay. The walls of the caves will flash and nothing but coins will fly around the caves for roughly four seconds. Fun fact. The P on the side of the power pods doesn't stand for power, nor pods. It stands for Pete, who owns Pete's Power Pods, the company <laughs> that manufactures the power pods. <laughs> <laughs> that is very funny. The writing in this is so good. Yeah. Uh, bonus targets. Square targets that fly around in the bonus caves. Oh, yes. Uh, bonus targets. Square targets that fly around in the bonus caves. They won't harm you if you run into them, but they. But it doesn't do you any good either. You have to shoot ten targets to get the bonus gem to appear. Bonus gem. After you shoot ten targets in the bonus cave, the bonus gem appears. Collect the gem and bring it to the top of the cave before time expires to successfully complete the bonus cave for a large point bonus and an extra life. Mr. Yo-Yo can take them. Blah, 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 can take the gem to the local pawn shop where he can trade it in, trade it for party favors, mainly hats, so he and his <laughs> notely friends can start the party up again. <coughs> that cough, by the way, was a Darcy ate a whole bunch of nuts cough and not a COVID-19 cough. Yes. That not that fun. you're in any danger. <laughs> no. I am. But just to be safe, I won't cough on him. I'm in danger. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, what? Okay, I did pretty good there. Okay, let's uh, play the two-player. And so we can... Uh, here you go. So go to the title screen. Go for two-player. Uh, no. Oh, uh, over. There you go. Nope. Uh, that, I think... The striped one goes back and forth. Let's try that one. The, the Not that one, that one. Yeah. Let's do it. So what do I control? Or is that just go alternating turns? Oh, no. Okay, let's restart, restart this. I don't even have my joystick plugged in, so that's hmm. not going to help. Sorry, Atari Box. I'm going to have to take a little break. That was two-player al alternating turns. Right. And this one is two-player back, back and forth immediately after every note, I believe. Go for it! 
or after every death, too. That's you. You were right, every... I can't shoot. Oh. Can you shoot? Yeah. Oh, oh, I shoot. Oh, that's interesting. So this is true co-op, so I'm shooting. Now that's gonna make it very interesting. Actually, that, that might work out pretty good. Kick an ass, boom. Boom. <laughs> okay. Because then I don't have to worry about shooting. Oh. I want to blame you for that. <laughs> I should have shot it, right? Oh, it gets to you again. Punishment. It's like, well, you didn't complete anything, so you get to play again. You have to keep playing until you... I'm driving. Get better. It's a terrible idea, but I am driving. <laughs> carry one note at a time yes this is, this is a, a good oh, a, i'm 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 responsible for all the deaths so far so far somebody's gotta do it <laughs> that's true eventually oh, i got a buck yeah oh my god i got Get a buck good game pretty addictive yeah it's one of those games like i can do better i can, I can do better than this yeah, I like the controls, even though they're a little bit... Shoot! Uh, shoot! Shoot him! Thank you. Actually, it makes that... Oh, I just missed it. It makes getting that guy a lot easier. You haven't encountered him yet. But he bounces against your string. Yeah. Or not your string. He just bounces on the I string. I read about him. He sounded, like, he sounded like a prick. Oh, and, he's bad. Um, he's the worst. Turns out he's, he's every bit as uh, cockknocker as he sounds. Okay, I mean, you're gonna have to shoot him. Nice. Actually, that works really well. Uh-oh. I tried to hit him to take him <laughs> out, but it didn't work. Nope, it did not. I may not understand the rules of this. Dying's a tough job. Somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> awesome, awesome game. Super fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, I... It's it's challenging, but you get better at it pretty quick. Yeah. So uh, we're on to the next game, which is Ruins of Moria uh, by Rossum. So I just have to manage my abandonment uh, issues uh, <laughs> schedule. <laughs> <laughs> it just worked too well. Um, you'll get a kick out of this one. change the cartridge graphics. There we go. Ruins of Moria. This one is a great title screen. Recognize that music? Mm -hmm. It's from Lord of the Rings. Oh, and those are dwarves. Yes, they are. Yeah, I didn't see dwarves immediately, but now I can't see anything but dwarves. <laughs> And we have to use this. We don't need that. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I've forgotten all of this. <laughs> we used to be able to write... We used to write notes to each other. In Runic. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was this alphabet, though. Yeah, it was. Because I don't remember like that. Uh, that's because the map mm -hmm. didn't use everything. Oh, and, right. And uh, some of these... Some Art of these... It's like NGW. When do you use NGW in a word? It's probably like only in in the um, universe with people's names that have crazy. Like GH, yes. KH, eh. KS, a little bit maybe. But when you have K on its own, is there a K on its own? No, there isn't. So you have to have. <laughs> and there's n numbers as well. Okay, this is uh, a very very amazing game and it's a 4k game if you can believe this this one has a ray casting engine 3d ray casting on the atari 2600 with no extra hardware 
It's unbelievable. Uh, this is my by Rossum. It was first posted June 14th. This is June 17th, yesterday. This is his first uh, game. Wanted to share a work in progress vanilla 4K game with a ray casting engine capable of 25 frames per second and eight colors. I think he's boosted that up a little bit now. No extra RAM, DPC plus, bus stuffing, or other cheats. Does not even bank switch. Could have been a launch title in 1977 on a 2732. Yeah, 4K. Uh, lots of work needed on the maps, PAL colors, but there's enough to work to give you an idea. I still have 33 bytes left for features. Let me know if this is interest in a production version or a write-up as how, to, how it works. By the way, if you figure out how to play and get to the end, you will likely be the only second human to do so. Also worth mentioning that being able to read Angarathas Moria helps with opening doors. But we've got a little sheet here that'll help us. So if you want to start it up, uh, are you ready to play? Or are you still managing expectations? I'm just, I'm managing the plan. <laughs> I'm managing the future plan. Okay, I'm going to start off. So look at this. Unbelievable. That... There was a game called Merlin's Walls that came out um, that I believe Oh yeah, this was is a, crazy. This uh, is crazy. Like, it's not even, like... Bad. It's not slow. No, what I mean is that it's not even, like, 90 degree or 45 degree turns at a time. It's, like... Yeah. It's full. It's, Full like movement. Full 3D. Um, there was a game called Merlin's Walls. Here, like, it's we'll actually 3D. Yeah, it's real 3D. Yeah. Um, but you had to turn your monitor sideways for Merlin's walls to work. So what you're looking for is a flashing door in this maze. And it's and it's very obvious when you see it. So you don't have to be like, is that flashing? No, it's you'll see it. Uh, warning, people watching this, if you have problems with flashing colors, this game is not for you. If you have problems with flashing colors, you are probably already on the ground, <laughs> flopping around like a fish. From other water. games we've been playing, yes. No, I mean... <laughs> oh, from just this. Just this, because this is like... Yeah, because it uses uh, uh, a, flick, <laughs> a flicker engine to be able to draw multiple colors and walls like this. Um... Uh, Personally, I seem to be really bad at staying with 4K Splendid Nut says. There could be a lot done in 4K, yes. Is the maze designed to make sure certain situations don't come up like a large open areas or the walls that aren't certain bo solid blocks? I haven't seen a large open area. It's mostly all single corridor, as far as I know. Uh, maybe in later levels? What happens levels? if you touch the wall? Do you burn? Nothing. Is it? Is it uh, you get a the, face full of wall. The wall is lava? No. No, nothing hurts you in this game as far as I know so far. Not even the orcs? Uh, no orcs encountered yet, but uh, here's hoping. This game is completely drawn with playfield. Those are flashy, but it's not the flashing wall. It's like really flashy. It's like, oh, you thought that was flashy? No, here's, <laughs> here's some it. real flashy. Yeah. Um, are you following a wall? I'm not following anything. I'm just wandering, wandering around aimlessly. Okay. You should follow a wall. Here, you follow a wall. Okay. <laughs> you follow a wall. <laughs> so one way to uh, get through a maze is to follow one wall. Uh, that doesn't completely work if there's a center square. Mm -hmm. Because you'll just be following that center square over and over again. But uh, in this one, it works fairly well, I find. And uh, as you go through this maze... I kind of was following a wall, I guess. You have to map this one. I don't know if the map changes from time to time or if it's a built-in map. At 4K, I have a suspicion it's a random map. Is this it? No, not yet. Some because the last uh, game I played of this, I just like turned to the left and there it was. And I did turn to the left when I started this game because Darcy wasn't playing immediately first, and it wasn't there. So I think this is randomly generated. Your position at least is. 
or the position. Yeah, it could be that. Oh, no, we turned to gray. And that's one feature of this game is that, no, it would have to be in, because there's only 128 bytes and this would chew up the byte. So if it's randomly generated, that means it would have to keep it in memory. And I mean the whole map in memory. So this would have to be. I don't think I saw this color before. No, and that's the one feature of this game is that it kind of lets you know that you're progressing by, there it is, by color changes. Yeah, yeah, you can tell, yeah, that's a flashing <laughs> ball. Yeah, so you run into it, and then you have to speak friend and enter. <laughs> but you don't need that. I'll show you what you do. You have to change each of the six runes to start, and you go through them, and it has all the runes. I'm amazed this fits it. Wow, well, look at how it changes the runes. That's fancy. Yeah, it warps, it warps them. Yeah, it like So if them. you can translate while we go. Blart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's mar Blart. What are you uh, trying to spell? See, it changes the colors, and that tells you that you're on the track, right track. It's the worst safe in the world. I'll let you know. <laughs> it's the worst what? <laughs> safe cracking opening oh. of, of a door in the world because it like lets you know you're getting closer because <laughs> you see it adds a color so before i do this last one you should translate it uh so, so that's m m i uh, yeah. t h i myth 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 what's the name of this uh, moria <laughs> no. myth um. And the last letter is. Mythal. Mythal. Mithril. And then it opens that door, and you want to go through it. You want to keep going straight. And hopefully, you don't go back to the old maze, because then you're going the wrong way. So, right now, we're on like kind of red and green. And the problem with those single step games, like the 3D engines that you see a lot in the 80s, showing those games on stream is very hard to understand where you're going. Yeah, because you didn't press the joystick, so you don't yeah. know which way that was you turned. Go, did you go yeah, left? Right. Did you go straight? Did you? And they usually don't have a lot of draw distance either. This one has like very good draw distance. The uh, stream is less flickery too. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it, they're pretty. It's pretty similar, but it seems yeah. slightly less to calm it down a bit. Yeah, it is one to one, so I don't know. What are people saying? Just nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. Oh, it found the second door. Blart Maldorf. <laughs> Blart. <laughs> Gimli, an RGB code for the colors in the wall. Uh, what? notice the bar at the top. Oh yes, that precedes. Thrust has been playing this too. Um, he actually uh, analyzed the code and corrected some of the spellings of the um, of the codes. You want to start decoding that while I uh, get through it? This should be turned blue. So M M O M O more. M O R. Mord. Mord door. It's gonna be. Probably. What's the last letter? What's R? Yeah. That's R. an R. So it should be like a T. Like, well, there's already an R. Oh, uh, but there's more than one uh, way to R. <laughs> there you go. More door. <laughs> so now the bar at the top is bigger. So now we're in the solid green uh. area. And uh, thrust um, estimated. I think it was thrust that it takes 20 doors to finish the game so this is another good candidate for uh, after dark because we've done two <laughs> so we'll do one more and then we'll move on how's your timing i have uh ten and a half minutes oh boy okay we won't do one more door. 
<laughs> but you get the idea. I don't know if he he said he added something into the game, a Balrog, but I don't know. Maybe that's at the end of the game. We'll have to see on another stream. But uh, this is a uh, technical marvel. This is oh, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a couple, you know, bugs to fix. Like you see that wall there, and it has a little it. Yeah. It's not quite right. Like you move forward, and most of the time it's right, but once oh. in a while they, they there's a little jaggy that's kind of out of place. But I mean, I don't think that needs to be fixed. It's not a huge problem. I, I would I would go so far as to say that it's not a problem. And then we're in dark green. See it? It's very helpful to let you know different areas. Yeah. And then we're in clown color world, I guess. Seventies. Autumn. It's autumn. Oh yeah, autumn like colors. That point in the the autumn where not everything is dead yet. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Mapping yeah. this one is hard. Yeah. I I wouldn't even map it because you don't really need to. Because you've got the colors. It's we like, need we, an app for that. That's right. An app to map it. A three D sketching map that takes what you see on the screen and automatically translates it. Yeah. I'll get on that. <laughs> Okay, the next game is Legend of Dungeon by Brock Keehee. And this is a very early build of this game. Um, so, let, wait, wait. Oh, uh, too late. Uh, uh. The flickering has begun. There we go. <laughs> this one's quite flickery. It's a 20 hertz uh, game. Uh, it's an it doesn't snake. do a lot, so it won't take long to go through this. Legend of Dungeon is a Zelda one. This is also exclusive, Premiere. We're the first to play this, which is very cool. Uh, Zelda 1 Roguelike. This development uh, oh. developed out of improvements to the Doom 2600 display method. So we made Doom 2600, Nexion 3D, Zybots 2600, and the Black Candle as well. And attempting to use all the cycles I can in the vertical blank. Uh, left difficulty switch toggles display mode. This will toggle the filter overlay to help suppress the 20 hertz flicker. This one may work better on different TVs. I think it doesn't look as good. I think it makes it the flicker more pronounced because there's more to flicker. But you have your choice. Um, sound and color effects added. So there's sound in this one. So you can move around. Uh, one navigatable room with some enemies. So you can kill the enemies. You can't collect the coins yet. I don't know what's happening. Go down. No. There you go. Ah! Oh! What's happening is there's a momentum. There's a bit of a momentum when you move, so you have to kind of hold it. Oh, I see. Which I'm not convinced. Since it's a tile game, there's not a lot of need for momentum, I don't find. So he may want to change it so that you don't have momentum once you're facing that direction. Because you can face a certain direction. Legends of Lawsuit. Nintendo is going to love this. Well, the good thing is you can change the, the look <laughs> of the sprite. Uh, walk around Zelda style four way control. Uh, dispatch enemies with your sword. So that's what you can do in this one. Things to be implemented hearts, restore life. Locked doors, passages to other rooms. Keys to open locked doors. Uh, monster door can only be open when all the enemies in the room are cleared. And bombs to clear obstacles. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before the Doom clone. Yeah. I mean, if you add it in. Or more, more like Wolfenstein with the other game. Because Doom is like, has levels of stuff. That would be very challenging. But Wolfenstein in the other one, you just add like dogs and guards and things as uh, player characters. And you make them closer, further away. You'd have to have a lot of scaling. It would definitely go up to 8K at that point. So there you go. Cool start. It looks good. A uh, lot of flickering, though. So we're going to move on to the next game. Is the, the next one? I thought I looked at the list and there was none. Nope. No worries. Nope. One more. Okay. And it is Electro Ball. Oh, right. Right in the middle. Where I could most easily miss it. <laughs> Start it up. Pow! This is by... Very nice intro. And very cool music too. Lecture ball. This is a one or two player, so we don't. Unfortunately, you can't start it with that. Okay. 
You're the red. Computer is blue. Computer, don't. You, you control your. No, computer, no. <laughs> you control your dude. Oh. And you control the goalie too. And your speed. Oh, I didn't know there was a speed. Cool. Um, electro ball is the socially distant way to play. Mount up your power sphere on the field to compete against another person or Daisy, an AI drone who makes up for lack of precision with enthusiasm. Whoever scores the most goals within the time limit or ties game sudden death. I don't know how you get the ball. Wins. Uh, you touch the ball. Yeah, I've touched the ball and not had it. Well, he touched it again, right? So you have to kind of. There you go. There you go. Oh, you lost it. Did but, uh, you press how the did button? I lose it? I think you pressed the button. No, I didn't. You don't know. I heard the button there. That time I pressed it. Previously, I hadn't pressed the button. Oh, okay. Ball Blazer 2D. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pretty much. Oh, 2 to 0. Oh, you still playing? Oh, is it rounds? What? Well, like, why does the ball leave me? <laughs> I don't know. What's, what's happening with that ball? Yay! Woo, 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 woo. Electro ball. Uh, uh, whoever scores the most goals in the time limit wins. Play one of four seasonal variations: spring, summer, fall, and winter. No. To find out who is truly the electro ball champion. Oh, is that it? Nope. Uh, electro ball is a new 8K homebrew game written in assembly for your Atari 2600 or Atari 2600 compatible system. This game in ROM form may be used for free for personal use, which we're doing that. Um, the Blues goalie is... doesn't try. <laughs> which is good, because I good. can't afford to both have him play better and... Alright, I'll take it. I'm tied. <laughs> Through this no fault cool. of my own, I'm tied. More entertaining than Battle Britain tonight. Well, thank you. ZPH speed round. And this is a two-player game as well, oh. which we're going to play right after this. Oh! Oh, okay. Better do it quick. I've got three minutes and eight okay. seconds. So... Okay, two-player. We'll play a different variation with the goals moving. What do you okay. think? Okay, sure. I am blue. Darcy is red still. No! See, it left me there, and I don't believe it should have. So we still control the goals, but they're no! moving. No! No! Oh. oh, you bastard. I'm spinning. Dun, 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 I'm spinning dun, dun, around dun, dun. the field in victory. <laughs> See, if you can uh, take the puck and face the opposite direction so the guy can't pick up on it. Okay, I gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a convenient timing. <laughs> Seems a little. No! Oh. Yes! No! No! <laughs> yes! No! No! <laughs> oh, if you bounce against a wall, you lose it. That it just happened to me. Oh! Oh, I should have shot it. Damn it. I must say, come on, time. The control. Right out the clock. The control in this is unbelievable. Oh, it's really good. It's, it's really good. So I mean, I'm terrible good. at it, but it's very good. Oh. Yes. I you didn't do even not touch deserve it. that. I mean, you totally deserve that. <laughs> no, I don't. You're, you do because I've also fault. been lucky. So why shouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> Get why shouldn't more. you also be lucky? It is. There's a lot of. Woohoo! <sighs> come on. Come on, time. It's a lot of momentum. In this game, though. Uh, no! Oh, oh. No! Oh, just off the goalpost. Get away. Stop it! No! <laughs> <laughs> I even deserve, like, a little bit of it. Not much, but a little bit. No, you deserve a, a fair amount of that. I'm, no! Uh, <laughs> the only goals I'm getting is the one you score. <laughs> Terrible. Oh. Dude, just atrocious. Oh. No! 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 Oh, two shots on goal. And nothing going in. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God. Let's get it down the field. Oh! It's like 
pass it to myself. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, that was close. Ah! Uh, no! No, 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 no. The, uh, okay, there's a problem with this game. It's gonna break all your joysticks. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be uh, less forceful. Woohoo! I gotta go. Uh, Sorry, I really do have to go. Yes, you do control the goalie. Uh, you go up and down. <laughs> it's... Unbelievable. So, Darcy will be back every two weeks. It's Watch true. for him. That's right. Tanya! Is Tanya still here? I thought I heard her leave she like two forgot. minutes ago, which sucks. <gasps> Did you break the joystick? I didn't break it. It just came apart. Oh. Oh, it's just a plug. It goes back <laughs> in. Okay, bye, Darcy. Yeah. Have a good day. On my own. Oh, my God. Let's play. Luckily, this is a one-player game, too. So, we'll be playing the computer in all the other variations. So, where is the instructions? Welcome back, Tanya. As soon as she comes back, I think she went for coffee. Maybe. She... Because we are going to do an After Dark today. Ooh. And it's going to be Peril. Because there's a new version of Peril out. So, uh, let's go. Spring, wide goals at fixed positions, which we just saw. Bye! Uh, each, play each player is a goalie, which can be moved up and down. Summer, wide goals, which move back and forth across the stadium, which we're seeing right now. And then fall, narrow goals, which can be moved back, which move back and forth. No goalie is present, but a force field can be enabled with a difficulty switch to severely impede the progress of anyone who tries to enter. Best take your shot before hitting the... So, that's two player. This is it, with a difficulty switch. Oh, okay, so one moves, and one is right at the edge. So we'll keep it on the moving one. Tanya seems to, to li live from coffee. Yes, she loves her coffee. Okay, oh, I have to start it. All of that could be done with the joystick. So I am red. There's no goalies, so which makes our job my job a little bit easier. Yes, score. Maybe I'm better against the computer. Oh no no no. Yes, there we go. Oh damn it. Oh maybe you're allowed to. Oh missed it. Oh my god. Look at that craziness. So the computer doesn't make your joystick come apart. Yeah, he wrecked my joystick. No. Oh my god, no, 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 no. The AI is pretty good. There we go. But he, he tends to just kind of shoot towards. He doesn't have a lot of precision in his shooting. And as he gets his second goal. Well, so far the computer is... Did anybody even touch that? Oh my god. Come back to me. Oh my god. Okay, the computer is pretty good. What are the lines doing? The lines uh, block you, at least. Um, I can't go past the blue line, and he can't go past the red line. But I can go... Oh no, I can't go past my red line either. Oh, get in there! Yes! Accidental goal. They uh, prevent you from getting close. Nice. Computer's a little easier than Darcy. Ugh. He's still pretty good. Kind of makes a beeline for the ball at all times. Ugh, damn it. And he kind of haphazardly shoots. Oh my god, that was a good goal on him. He stole it and shot it immediately. Oh, I wonder if uh, he'll program in some better AI as time goes on, like an easy level and a hard level. I would say this would be a, a medium, medium level maybe. Not a hard, because I'm able to get like some goals on him. Oh, no, 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 no. But he's not super precise. Well, he is and he isn't. The games last a long time. That might be a thing to consider. 
another option for length length of play. I don't know. Let's see. Are we halfway through the game? Oh my god. A few times he seems to get past your defense line. I have noticed. I think if the line moves over top of you and you don't move over the line, you can... Oh my god. I love that move he does. Oh, Tanya's back. Tanya! Tanya! I'm all by myself. Yeah, I'm all by myself. Yes. Players remind me of the Ghost Rider character from the PBS show, The Same Name. Oh, I don't know that. Do not know that show. Oh, oh, oh. See, I got behind the line. Oh, but I was able to get out from it, even though I was fully behind the line, which is good. Oh, that bastard. He is destroying me. But I'm able to get more goals on him? He's not... A, but this is a different... This is a different game. Maybe I would have done well on this one against Darcy, too. Oh, my God. Not even a cat with James. I know, it's so sad. I could have called for the cats. I should. Because the cats haven't been here all show. Oh, cats have to make an appearance at least. I have nobody all by myself. Oh, oh did you no. bring me some? I did. This is a London oh. Fog. Oh, it's not hot chocolate. That's no, no, I, I uh, wasn't sure what you wanted up here. The London Fog was good. Oh, yummy. Compromise. You're playing against yourself or are you playing no. against a computer? Computer. Not oh, myself. thank goodness. Luckily, the last game was a had a computer to play ah. against. This isn't After Dark yet, though. No. Oh, so this We're is game off. five? Tanny with coffee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mm. I thought you'd be finishing when he left, so I didn't think it was going to well, be... Well, it went a little bit longer. So you still had another one to show. Yeah. Oh. I knew it when I came down, and I noticed you were still on the first game, and I was like, oh, it's going to yeah. be rough fitting those all in. <laughs> there was a lot of news. There was a lot of news. I know. We. I, I mean, that's not That's not normal. That's. Oh, we no. usually don't build it up over weeks, so... Yeah. Um, Computer is ruthless. Yeah. Am I out of time yet? What? Oh, what? Oh, there's periods? Is it time, the time, started time to over. score? Do you have a certain amount of time to score? No. That no. clock does count down continuously. Oh. I didn't get all, through all the rules because I had to start playing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you want me to go over the rules? Um, yeah, rules. just for the timer. Okay. Ah, he stole it. Quick, get it, take ah. it from me. <laughs> take it. Ah. It's trouncing me. <laughs> so I guess that's how many periods left you have. Ah. On the, oh, it's behind the line. Oh, you bastard. I'm going to get it. Oh, no. no. Basic rules of Electro Ball are, at the beginning of the game, the Electro Ball will be randomly shot to one of your players. Move downfield and fire the Electro Ball into the opposing goal for a point. That's straightforward. After a goal is scored, players are reset and the Electro Ball is fired to the other player who did not score last. Whoever oh, has the most really? points. Damn it. Yeah, whoever has the most points when the time counter reaches zero will win the game. Go to cat now. So it is for the whole game. Come here, kitty. Sorry, the timer? Uh, okay, so I'll say that again. Wh whoever has the most points when the time counter reaches zero will win the game. Oh, yeah. Of so it just yeah. keeps going. That's a really long time counter. It is. Oh, it just reset, too. That's a little weird. I don't know what's going on with the time counter. Hmm. Okay. So there's four different modes. Mm. So maybe the different modes. What are the modes? Oh, I just missed. Oh, it, I see. The bar on the left got smaller. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah. Oh, good. So I think that's how many... So spring, wide goals at a fixed position. Each player has a goalie, which can out. be moved. Oh, you have. Okay. Yeah. I didn't read out winter, though. Mm, winter, narrow goals, which move back and forth across the stadium. Like this. The unit must be in winter. Oh, Jesus. Or yeah. fall. Fall. Um, and the goal itself shrinks and expands. Ah, oh, that's only on uh, No goalie is present, but a moving force field can be enabled with the difficulty switch to severely impede the progress of anyone who tries to enter it. 
Yeah, best to take your shot before hitting the force field. Hmm. Yeah, because it'll get rid of your ball. I'll take your ball from you. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna play two player. Nope. Last Long period. Ball. Last period now. Oh no. Meh. No. Ditching it. <laughs> On what? Oh. Is that winter? Yep. What is the six? One ten. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of variations. Yeah, because you can have wither without the force field, right? Um no. No, the force field is just a No, it says winter you can enable a force field. A, a moving force field can be enabled. Okay. We're two player now. Is that me? Yep. So you have to shoot towards my goal. Ah uh, no! This oh one's my gonna gosh. be a much lower scoring it, like, game. Bounces so much. Oh! Oh, so close. I don't even remember releasing that. If you hit something or me, oh. it does release. Oh my gosh, it's it's pretty hard. Controlling the ball is like. <laughs> You're very good at dodging. Oh me. yeah, this is. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Taking advantage of me. I am, but I I I, I didn't. Uh... It really oh come, come on that was close come on that's not fair oh that was close oh. did you read out the poll results at some point yes okay and oh stuck behind the line and what, what uh, one no. i was ah, ha, ha, ha. Woo. It, it wasn't it was the middle choices tied where they use them sometimes oh my gosh you bounce around so much i'm blue tanya's red by the way if people didn't know oh come on face the right direction oh, oh i hardly have any contact with the ball even hogging it me oh that was close oh no oh i love how bouncy this is though it's it feels super it's super random there's lots of momentum there's lots of bounciness oh. somebody described it as ball blazer 2d which it really does feel like and in ball blazer the goals move too and they get smaller and bigger this is actually oh. ball blazer i almost got scored 2D. on <laughs> oh 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 you got it no oh yes oh finally I didn't grab it. It's like you shot right through me. Oh my god, come oh, on. You're stealing it all the time. Uh, oh, that was close. Oh. Oh, oh, I feel like that was rando. I'm sometimes. Oh, lots of shots on goal. Very bad percentage. Come on! Oh! I don't even, even when I have it, I, I, yes. oh. That was a skillful shot. That was skillful. Great. <laughs> oh, come on. <gasps> oh. This game is definitely going in the multiplayer oh, it's tournament great. show day. I think so. Oh, I'm stuck behind my wall. If the wall moves over top yeah. of you, oh, yeah. tied up. <laughs> oh, do it, do it. Shoot in your own goal. No, thanks. Uh. No. Oh, no. Facing You're the wrong sizing way. Sizing it up. Oh. Facing the wrong way. Pick it up. Ah, uh, get it, it, it. No. Oh. oh. This is great, by the way. It's so it's, good. It plays so well. Like, it's just a perfect two-player game. Yes. Ah. Off the rebound. Oh, good. 
go to you. Oh, no. End of the game. Is it? Nope. Nice. That was, was, that was good. That there, was good. Yeah. There was a lot of variation. Very playable. To... You won. <laughs> you won. Very playable. Very playable. I barely won. Mm. Game select. Uh, okay. Helpful hints. Use your momentum in your favor. If your opponent is coming at you at a high rate of speed, you can move in a perpendicular direction to evade them. The electro ball cannot be captured by a player for a brief moment after being fired by either player. Mm. When it, so that explains why Darcy was going, ah, I didn't press the button, and it releases it. So there's this brief period of time where you can't just take it. Oh. Um, when it when it hits a goalie in spring or summer variations, or when it's been new, newly acquired by a player. Uh, practice your sharp scooting, shooting skills and shoot the ball at an angle towards the goal for yes. a higher chance of scoring. Yeah. Daisy the AI drone is equally good at spring, summer, fall variations. Winter game variation will prove a tougher game to score due to the constantly changing, changing goal goals. Size. Yeah, Sorry. which is pretty cool. It I like that. Like, I was going through the variations and the number was... So, because like there's one... with and without the force field too, right? No. Yes. Like... It says winter can be without the force field. You just turn it off. That's a difficulty switch. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it's not a variation. Oh. Like. Is are, are some of the variations two player or no? Like, I don't know what I'm seeing. Like one ten. Like, see that top right number. Like it's changing from three, six, ten. That must be the amount of minutes. Oh, you see the top left. Yeah those dots are increasing ah okay three minutes maybe yeah so that's one player uh, okay three minutes six minutes so let's go two player uh let's play with goalies because that's pretty fun okay is that the first one yep because you have to use your goalie too mm -hmm. you have to move up and down Got yes, it. Metal Lunar is correct. Yes, it does look I just like noticed the food. picking the ball sound sounds like an object in adventure. <laughs> I don't yeah. know whether it's by coincidence or design, but it's fun. Yeah. There's limited sounds. Yeah. Basic sounds. When yeah. you start manipulating, then you get different sounds. But if you use just the basic sounds, yeah, you're going to recognize them. Oh, I see. Right? Uh, you got it? Up, yeah, down? Yeah. Okay. He, he, he does somewhat... Um... I'm blue still. Tanya's red. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There is no break, though. Like, you can't stop playing. Uh, you oh. really have to use your goalie because yeah. some person can get quite far ahead. Hey. Oh. <laughs> And a good idea is, oh, look, the goalie can punt it back. Yeah, oh, it, wow. it punts it back quite extreme. That's cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're just playing goalies right now. Well, oh, you can't pick it up right away? Is that um, what you said? That's what it said, but that seemed like a long enough time to pick it up. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, scored on himself. <laughs> no. I was trying to kick it the other way. Nice. I like the goalies. I like that addition. It's a great variation of the game. I mean, it's the original variation. Because at some point you have to kind of forget about your guy and focus on your yeah. goalie. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, no, no. Because you ran into my goalie. I think you automatically dropped oh, it. Oh, yes, you would. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was a good, good that tactic. Was, that was on purpose. Yeah. Sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <gasps> off the oh. rebound. Oh, oh my you moved gosh. out of the way. That was bad. Do you win? Oh no, it's still not. You still go to the end of the, the time period. Yeah. So we've got one dot left. I find a good tactic is to punt it downfield. Oh, I, I, I don't always have my angle. 
Oh, it hit the wall so I couldn't get it right away. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to... Oh, I'm trying to go so diagonally, but that's not as easy as it seems. Oh, good. I because that's, that's what I was trying to do. That's you the have way to you get, score. You go straight on them, and then, and then you try the to go sideways. Second. But yep. I'm I, I I tend to overturn. I think because it's so hard to defend against that kind of shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I I but I yeah because I've tried that, but I I end up turning too far. Everybody needs to run and not not walk to download this game. Yeah, it's great. It is unbelievable. The control. Oh, you got it again. Yeah, you have to master that technique. That is the way to Ice score. hockey operates that way too. Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh. Now it's hard. Now it's hard to to do the goalie to master the goalie. Yeah. In the beginning, it was. It was straightforward. Oh. Out of time. Oh, good, Six good game. Three. That's good though. That's good. I like it. You can kind of see where the tactics are. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. We'll play one round of this. Let me drink my coffee. And then we'll hang it up. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. We'll talk about the games you played. Yes. During the after dark, because uh, well, I've I've played some no. of them. Oh, this is really crazy. This is like super crazy. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> it's crazy when it's moving. Oh, yeah, it is. like it's the goalie is almost very superfluous. Like. Oh, that almost. That was that was a good tactic, but Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was trying to kick it the other way. <laughs> oh, just Oh, no. Yes. Use the rebounds. Oh no. Oh, is it almost over? Uh, one oh, more. Oh, come on. No, it's not over yet. Oh, that's weird. I think there's one more. It counts around. One more row after this of time. Oh, no. Diagonal, not sideways. Ooh, good blocking. And just. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Go in. Block it. <laughs> Block it. Ball has a lot of momentum. It does. So you have to kind of watch where it's bouncing. Go, 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 go. Oh, it oh, slowly no! went in. Oh. I'm so curious hard. about the implementation of the countdown timer. Well, it's on its own line. Oh, come on. That was so close. It looks like Playfield because it is kind of chunky if you see it. Like right now, there's uh, it goes half and then one. Oh. So I'm pretty sure it's Playfield. No reason why it wouldn't be. And then the top left could be playfield too, actually. No reason to not use the playfield for the um, for the rounds as well. Oh. Yeah, I just can't get my Definitely angles. Definitely a better uh, better at this variation than the last one. Oh, your hands? Sore? Oh, they're just a little sore. Yes. Oh, it went in. Kicked oh. it in after. Oh, no. Stolen. Yes. Stolen. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. I tried to steal Funny. it, but you kept it. Nice. Oh, no. 
waste of space. <laughs> oh, he's commenting about programming. I haven't read it. Oh. oh, no. <gasps> Blocked. Yes. Oh, oh, so lucky there. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Get it. Get it. Oh, good block. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't count. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Kicked it right that to happens. me. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh. Oh. Did you? Over. Oh, it's over. I yeah, was like, I didn't <laughs> score. Oh, Curious cool. about the implementation of the countdown timer. Would be easy ever to table indexed by seconds with the bytes mm. for filling the P0, P2 registers or calculate how to fill them on the fly. <laughs> Thrust says waste of space. Calculate to fill them on the fly. That's what mm. Thrust uh, votes for. Mm. Uh, good. That, oh my god. Okay, if you haven't played that game yet, I mean, it just got released, but, <laughs> yeah. um... Oh, it's a great game. 100% awesome, even playing it against the computer. Mm. Uh, the computer's very challenging. There's yeah. a, a good level of skill that you have to develop mm. to even play the computer. I think I'd be better at playing mm -hmm. the computer now after playing humans <laughs> for a little bit. Um, wow. That's so good. Um, I can't wait to see what more he adds that was it's that was the first initial release of it mm -hmm. first time chatting live interesting take on how the vcs 2600 plays soccer yeah. that's a very good soccer type game yeah very very cool really good i mean it's one-on-one -on -one plus a goalie but yeah. it's still good yeah if you don't care about actual seconds you can count 64 frames and then document the seconds timer decrement yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be seconds. No, I mean, it, it, it just needs to count down. It equals way. to some amount of seconds, yeah. but it's, yeah. it's not a real. Well, thank you very much, Dan. Um, so we played today, Keijo Chases the Cheese. Mm -hmm. You've played that before. I have. This was the final release of it that's going to be put on cartridge. Um, I have binary version three mm -hmm. of it because each binary is individually numbered. So you know which one you have. Uh, that was super fun. Not much has changed. A little bit of polish. I don't think I had notes on what had changed. Yeah. It had pretty pretty much done by the time we had played a later version of it. Um, super fun. Good challenge because it does get harder. Uh, I nominated that to be played in an a uh, after dark because I only made it to level eighteen or something. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more gameplay to that because there's sixty levels. Um, because the mouse traps, there's more than one appear in later levels. Mr. Yo Yo, very challenging. Lots of gameplay for people who are expert players at that. It's a, that's a tough game. Yeah. It was uh, really fun though. You played that as well. Oh, I like that game a lot. I, I you hit a point though where I just find it really challenging. Yeah, it's it really hard, gets but I hard. like it. It's it's got a good feel to the game and, yep. and yeah, unique it's control a good scheme. Game. I like that as game well. a lot. Yeah. Uh, and we played uh, Runes of Moria, mm -hmm. which is technically astounding. Yeah. It's a 3D ray... I don't want to get it wrong. It's not ray tracing. Is it ray tracing? Um, uh, ray casting. Ray mm -hmm. tracing is very different. Um, ray casting game where you're wandering through a 3D maze in real time turning. Really? unbelievable oh, i'm gonna have to watch the show i wasn't watching to, it when you were playing it and you so. have to find a door yeah and then you decode the door yeah i mean you don't decode it it's pretty much decodes itself but it translates to the lord of the rings um runes oh nice and it displays a name on the screen nice uh which was a lot of fun that's cool uh, and then we played The Legend of Dungeon, a very early version, yeah. where you just move around and you can kill things. Um, you can't collect things or upgrade or move past one screen. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we played uh, Electro Ball, which is oh, oh, so good. Yeah. So very good. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that noise? Uh, your Windows update? I don't know. <laughs> just a notification on your screen there. Okay. Yeah. Funny, funny. <laughs> so it just sounded like the Windows update. You need to reboot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what will happen, actually? What uh, What is coming up here? 
So we're going to play Peril uh, right after this. Oh, Peril. Okay. I thought we might be playing one of these five games, but... Uh... Uh, no. No, because I had Peril uh, queued up. Oh, cool. Um, and because uh, that's... The final release? final release okay. as well, I believe. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. More two-played games. Two-player, two two I player think. Two-player games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, two, Mr. Yo-Yo was two-player. Electro Ball was two-player. The other ones were for two-player. So two two-player games. Mm -hmm. Darcy's name is still... Well, I'm not going to change that. Actually, I could. <laughs> it very, will be changed for easy. the After Dark for sure, but... Uh... Might as well change it now. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Um, so coming up, we're back to a regular schedule. We're going to be starting off with one regular show a week. On the Fridays. On the Fridays. Yes. And then the After Dark is on the Tuesdays. Yeah, for now. Yeah. Uh, for now. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah. If we get behind, we might throw in another regular show on Tuesday. Yeah. Instead of the After Dark, same time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Next Tuesday is an After Dark. Don't know what it will be. And then uh, the Friday after, it'll be Tanya. Starts is every second week. Yep. And that'll be at 6 p.m. normal time. So every second week will be a 12 p.m. early show. Mm -hmm. And we're playing maybe Word, Words Game, Dragon Defense, Pac-Man Eat and Run, and Katamari. Oh, yeah. Katamari? 2600 version of Katamari. Nice. Awesome. Oh, Drexel resubscribed. <laughs> he actually did it like two hours ago. Yeah, isn't that funny? It takes it takes a little while for that it's to only kick in. for him. No, yeah. I I try to subscribe too, and it never goes through right away. So I there's something about but not other people it recognizing you're in like the same location as the stream. Like I swear it there's it there's must. like a delay. It's like an IP check. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to see about Erlen. Yeah, he's still busy right now, so. We're not sure. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Time yeah. will tell yeah. with that. But for now, it's Darcy and Tanya. Yeah. And I'll get all the rest of the uh, screens fixed up so mm -hmm. you'll have cat cam yeah. in this view again. I just, it was not prepared. Mm -hmm. so I totally forgot about the cat cam in this view. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else? I uh, can't think of it right now. Thing coming up no big shows coming up right now but no I'm sure we're heading be into some summer and so things are kind of you know people are constant doing their own thing relaxing vacations. and actually like leaving the house now yeah. so <laughs> but i have a lot of games to catch up on yes yes because we were off for three weeks yeah that's so a fair chunk of time yeah. tons yeah. to catch up on yeah so that'll be a lot of fun yeah because it was slowing down before we went on vacation i was scrambling to try and find games to play <laughs> yeah so it timed out really well yeah and uh yeah and things are opening up again as yeah. well as the nice weather it's actually boiling in some areas yeah cave apocalypse yes you've made a lot of new screens for cave oh my god that's a hard game so we'll uh have to take a look at that yeah. in the upcoming show as well mm. i think you're up to 10 screens mm. i'll nefer is uh made cave up too cool yep um so we will be back very shortly yep with After Dark, is this our lunch to tide us over? I have some food for you, but yes. Ooh, yeah. okay. So we're going to... Harmony Games Final Round. Yes, actually, that is coming up uh, early July. Mm. We'll be doing the Harmony Games with uh, Zookeeper and Dog Gone It. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. So, mm -hmm. uh, Zookeeper, I don't know. That's a tough game. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'll fare against people. Dog Gone It, we play okay, but some people are... Really dialed really, it in. Yeah, they know I bet. all the things. We can do pretty well on that, though, I think. Boulder Dash, maybe. Ooh. No, yes. not me. I'm terrible at Boulder Dash, but he. Oh, like the, the, the original Boulder Dash, with the, the levels we haven't completed. Yeah. I'm getting better at it. I'm but terrible at it. I, it's I, so hard. It is hard. But that's definitely an after dark game. And that's you why can, we you, you need to kind of just chip away at it, yeah. Stream daily. <laughs> if there was more donation, <laughs> I would consider that. <laughs> yeah. I have other things to do. Uh, we would have to. What would have to take the donations up to? Uh, I don't know. You have. What to level out. would I be comfortable <laughs> at streaming daily? Uh, Probably twenty times the donations. Yeah. Twenty times it would be a lot. Yeah. But uh, yeah. but then you know the the community is this big, well, and, I, and I don't think there's enough people. Yeah. Even if I stream daily, 
I I know I would get a lot more. You uh, would subscriptions. You would. Yeah, the people but who stream more often. twenty times. Do. Yeah. yeah. I would have to. I would pretty have pretty much have to be a homebrew channel, and I'd be like NES homebrew. Everything. Every homebrew. Yeah. Like eight eight bit homebrew. I yeah. I would concentrate on. Yeah. But you know I would I would have to like go, okay I'm doing this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, streaming streaming twenty times as much is very easy. There's yeah. so much homebrew out there. There's Vectrex homebrew. There's so much NES homebrew. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you'd have to do shorter shows too. But I mean, when you look at a lot of the streamers, they, they still one... they stream for three hours like and at a time. They concentrate on one game too. They would like one game today, for three hours. We're doing yeah. this game. Yeah. And then today we're doing this game. Yeah, they do a game at a time. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I like, which is actually easier than this, because I have to, I had to get information for five games. Yeah, which is, but lot. I think people like your informational shows, like where you yeah. are talking about all these games all at once. So it's kind of, you know, yeah, hard to make money at Twitch and YouTube in general, right? Uh, I, 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 if I expand it out to all homebrew, and be the homebrew guy instead of the twenty six hundred seventy eight hundred homebrew guy. Yeah. I, I, it's like interesting to me. Yeah, it's true because there are a lot of streamers who. And who, ColecoVision's who, very big too. Is it? Yeah. There's a big homebrew. Yeah. For ColecoVision, but they're more insular. Yeah. Like you have to subscribe to a package and pay a yearly fee, and then you get access to their homebrew games. Oh, really? Digitally. Really it's interesting. Very different setup very than twenty six hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It's super Seems different. Seems a lot less accessible for people. Yeah, like, and that's why I haven't really ventured into it, because yeah. I, I'd have to pay a monthly, or a yearly fee. Really? I mean, it's interesting like, they've set it up that way. But you can't yeah. just try the games. Mm. And some of them they sell on in box, mm. and most of them they don't, though. Or It's it's very weird. Yeah. And the ones they sell in box are limited mm. as well. So it's like, I want to buy that. Oh, it's sold out immediately. Yeah. Like, the, before it even becomes public, they're gone. And they have this huge list of like 50 games that you can, can't buy. Wow. So it's a totally so it's a very controlled setup. market Super for the games. controlled. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So they're a little bit more worried about um, piracy, I think, in yeah. the ColecoVision realm. Yeah. Well, they want to be like, okay, you subscribe to this. We know we're going to make this much money a year to make these games. Yeah. So it's more set up like a, a, a very secure business plan, more yeah. like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's, yeah. Collector Vision is the, Collector the company, Vision. I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do have a, a Phoenix and all the things to do that. But, yeah. But if yeah. I was doing that for sure, like as a like, stream, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, a yearly fee would be nothing yeah. comparatively. Yeah. Well, I mean, with the doing it, doing it this way where you have one show where it's sort of a, a collection of games and trying and like showing them off yeah. versus having some live streaming after dark kind of, oh, let's play through this game. Yeah. I think it's easier to pl do that more often. To do you know, live streams? To do live streams more often if you're just, we're just going to play this game and, and just play one game for a couple hours. It's so easy. It's much easier. So, yeah. so we're going to, I think one of the things you were saying is you kind of, you're trying it out and you'll see how, how it plays out over time. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Yeah. I and if the... there's if there's a lot of stuff coming out, then maybe you, you, we will stream more often. <laughs> Thrust is, I like, I like it, it as was, it is now. Yeah. Just 2,670. Yeah. And, and, but if there are a whole I'm... bunch of games released that week, then yeah, maybe you will be streaming multiple times that week. So yeah, it's just kind of nice to have that flexibility. I have the Thursday option of making that a regular show or an after dark. Yeah. No show prep, but still big time dedication to play the game 100%. 100%, yeah. It is. I mean, but you get really good at it really quick because you're playing it for hours and hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's it for today. Yeah. Well, no, not really. We'll be back. Don't don't go away. We'll be back. Have in, your lunch, dinner, I would say midnight snack. Half an hour. <laughs> we'll be back in half, half an, hour. an hour. Yeah. What time is it now? It's 2.30. Why don't we say 3 o'clock? Yep. 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. We'll 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific PST. time. Yeah. Well, we just say half an hour. Yeah. Or 20 minutes. 22 yeah. minutes. 22, 21 minutes. 22 minutes. <laughs> so thanks for joining us Yeah, it, right now. It yeah, is, depending on where you are. <laughs> that's why I say the length of time. Yeah. So 22 minutes. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Bad time. <laughs> yeah, Have a good Europe? night, Thrust. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thrust, Danny VC, Metal Lunar 7, yeah. uh, Captain Classic, Splendid Nut, Al Nefer. Uh, Vitoko 8 bits, uh, JFD62780, first time chat from a viewer. Um, 
Nostalgic 26. Uh, Bido 8 bit. Uh, Look at all the people. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Trem Tube, who yep. was the graphic artist. Oh, nice. For Keijo Chases nice, the Cheese. Nice, nice, and nice, nice. And she um, came with 19 people at the top oh, of the show. Oh, that's oh, yeah. nice. Awesome. And brought over a bunch of uh, fans of. Uh, Fans of hers. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Dave M A Z, who is the uh, programmer for uh, Mr. Yo Yo. Lovely. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Uh, Jeremiah five one eight soundtrack seventy eight. Maestro Kronos, and he uh, followed. Thank you very much for following. Yeah. Uh, a cardboard box. <laughs> First also time followed chat. as well. Nice. Uh, I love seeing new people come and discover the show, great. and it and part of it too is the timing of of what time of the day you show it, right? So, yeah. So when we do twelve noon shows, it's going to be a totally different yeah. crowd. And it was so hard to do that, unfortunately, during the pandemic, because yeah. I work a typical. Yeah. I have to work typical hours whether I'm working at home. Oh, she's off because it's her birthday week. It, it is my birthday week this week, so, so she gets a day uh, <laughs> off. She took Friday I took off. I took the Friday off. So um, we're going to. That's I'm why I'm here, but normally I'm not because I have to, and even if I'm working from home, I have to work regular hours because of my job. So, yeah. so it we're makes going to dinner and a movie. Heart. Yes, tonight. a movie, a movie. We'll talk about that in when we'll we talk go about to that. that. Yeah. William Pin <laughs> Hero, the major yes. havoc. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, who else? Leo C. Santi, who, who made Keijo. Yeah. And, uh, everybody else who was lurking yes. or was off the screen by then. Thank you. Uh, Bio 8-Bit, Metal Atari. And so we'll be back in, uh, 19 minutes. <laughs> it's counting down. I have to go eat. Okay. Um, so we'll see you very, very shortly. I'll put a screen up. I, uh, uh, With a countdown. So you'll know. You'll know. Yeah. Okay. So let me just set that up right now. So the countdown is not incorrect. Uh, three, mm -hmm. 15, and start, and it should be good. 18 minutes. So we will see you in 18 minutes. Uh, the graphic's going to be wrong. Drexel's lurking. <laughs> oh, lurking. Hi, Drexel. Hi, Drexel. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Sorry I missed you. Yeah. <laughs> Passing ships in the night. Wow. Yes. Uh, so we'll see you uh, very, very shortly. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>